So this guy used to go in the fridge and eat straight butter, like sticks of butter, margarine, like by the handfuls. Now I was thinking about your grandpa making you read 40 books a week. I was like, who's your grandpa, Ty Lopez? Like, <laughs> Most of my friends were scared of him. Would you beat their asses? Because I beat a few of them up, yeah. yeah. Whoa, 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 welcome back to Under the Influence. What the fuck is up, YouTube? <laughs> Don't swear, man. I've heard that having high energy gets you more views, so I'm going to start screaming the whole intro from now on. My name is Wu-Tak. My name is Bitrap. Is he in the frame? And my name is Esther. And my name is Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a special guest with us today. Wu.2. Wooj. This Nick. is Nick, my Woo. brother. What's your Korean name? Woo Jung. Woo Jung. He has two Korean names. Yeah. We also call him Hyun Tak at home. What? Yeah. yeah. I was so confused growing up. <laughs> I was confused. I didn't know his real name until I was like 13. Name, You're I'll kidding. Probably, yeah. I would be in school and they would be like, Woo Jung, and I'm just sitting there like... <laughs> <laughs> they probably thought you were dumb. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, hello. Bro, and you know, you know the story behind it is literally my mom brought him back from the hospital and my grandma's like, what's his name? And she's like, Wu Jung. And she's like, I don't like that name. Here's his new name. And she just gave him Hyun Tak. And then I straight up didn't ever hear the words Wu Jung until I was like 13 where I seen it on his report card. And I was like, who's Wu Jung? <laughs> and then my mom's like, oh, that's your brother. I'm like, and it was like that meme of like the, fucking the numbers yeah. calculating <laughs> happening. I'm like, but I've never, there's no way. Like, That's crazy. I that know, that like, feeling you felt is mm -hmm. how I felt when I realized I'm Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which name do you like better? Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, I feel like I've gravitated your, towards using Wujong more just because uh -huh. it is the government official name. Uh -huh. So I feel like if I use any other name, it just starts getting confusing at a certain point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's on your license and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like too, there's always like a piece of his name in both those names, Hyun Tak yeah, or yeah. Yeah. Wu Jung. That's how Koreans do it, the generational name. Yeah. Oh. They name a lot of, most of the time, you don't have to, but it's like a tradition. You yeah. pick a one, like, you know how Korean Korean names Alphabet. are always two <laughs> syllables, right? So they pick one part to like make it the same across all the siblings. And yeah. I know the translation for your name is strong woman in Korean. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Anyways, we are sponsored by <laughs> Nectar, Nectar Hard, Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Unique Asian flavors. No and no weird aftertaste, taste. but I have, a I have a fun announcement. So I just got back from Texas and it was a really excellent trip. We are now in seven Bucky's. It's the most iconic gas station in the nation. Woo! So I'll pop the little thing on the screen right now. That's the locations. Go get it. Go buy it. It's the cheapest price you could get it in Texas. So if you're looking for a deal, that's where you can go. If you're and, cheap. And keep hitting H-E-B. And, and I think by now, the new variety pack has come out. Maybe not in Texas yet. And then something else that we should talk about right now is the parties. Yes. We have... We are throwing two giant ragers in Southern California, in LA, San Diego. LA is going to be the first Saturday. Let me get the exact dates for you. This, this episode will come out November 10th. Oh, yeah, great. Is so that, we should have announced that, it by then. Is that variety pack number two or what? Yeah, variety pack two will have come out in California and in certain places. Okay. So get the new variety pack. Uh, don't have the box right now because we're in the past right now. Uh, but anyways... Uh, what was I going to say? The party will be on Saturday in LA. Uh, December 2nd. December 2nd. And then San Diego. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, you, I feel like you're just, you're, you fumbled that a little bit. Let's make it a little bit more exciting. Concise. Okay. And concise. Okay, okay. Everyone forget that. Erase that from your memory. We're going to do it again. <laughs> We're throwing a banger. Whoa! What the? <laughs> you know when you start a YouTube video and they're just immediately like, what yeah. the fuck is yeah, up YouTube? Yeah. I love that shit. I so don't. Anyways, that gives me a headache. We're throwing a fucking rager. Whoa! <laughs> so I don't know if y'all have seen the videos of us in Texas and Hawaii, but I go to a lot of parties. So does he. Those are the craziest parties I've ever seen in my life. And I'm not just saying that because we threw them. Our, aud our audience loves partying. Yeah. I'm realizing they fucking love coming to that shit. You guys love raging. You're not the boring partiers that come and yes. stand around either. There was shirts being torn off, motherfuckers dancing everywhere. Singing their hearts out. Singing, sweat. raging, mosh pits. There was a mosh pit every song. We was moshing to Taylor Swift. You don't know no YouTubers moshing to Taylor Swift. <laughs> so, a lot of, of booty too. shaking, too. A lot of ass trying to be shaken. I also there like ass shaking attempts. I like that it's a split audience, too. It's not all a bunch of dudes. It's oh, yeah, like yeah. men and women. We have yeah. a very 50-50 audience of girls and guys, so the parties are actually... 
fun. Like yes. I'm imagining That's Jimmy true. throwing a party and it's like all men. Only men. Jimmy yeah. just kind of stray. The, the two women that are there are just like like in a lion's den. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't wait, but now get to what we're doing. We're throwing two parties in so- SoCal to celebrate Nectar's birthday. December 12th is LA and then the no, second No, no, no. December, December 2nd is LA. You're, you're, December you're, and what is it? December 7th or 8th? December 8th or 9th will be San Diego. Yes. Wait, so it's, this is not a for sure thing yet. No, December 2nd is completely for sure. It's at Fountain LA. This is the LA party, but we're going to announce the San Diego and LA tour dates and every how to get the tickets and all that at the yeah. same time. And to be clear, these are ticketed events because we've learned a lot from Texas and Hawaii and Hawaii specifically uh, like literally, I would say probably more than a thousand people showed up in total uh, and maybe 300 people got into the party. So yeah. to avoid people coming and being upset because they couldn't get in, which we apologize for, but we had no control over that, but we have a lot more control in LA. Mm-hmm. We're going to sell tickets. So everyone who buys a ticket guarantees entry. You're also, there's going to be tiers. We're going to have like a, a, like a, a pregame tier package where you're going to be able to come early, pregame with us in a very intimate setting, and there will be drinks included on your, on your ticket price. We'll also be doing nectar drops to promote the new variety pack, which will also be meet and greets. And the first hundred people that come to those meet and greets will get free entry into the party. Wow. Free entry. So there's going to be, you have to buy tickets. It's, it won't be expensive. It'll be like 15 bucks. And then, um, but regardless... $15 to come to the best party of your life. We're going to be bringing out... This is our home city. I don't, like, I'm not from LA, but we live here now. So yeah. all of our friends are here. We're bringing out all the special guests. Suburb Talks, Jimmy, Sweet Tea. As many of our friends that we can pack into that bitch as possible. It's going to be the biggest party yet. Easily. So. It's the biggest venue. We, we have all the experience from the last parties, and this is in our home city. The, the venue is also being super, super kind. They're giving us all the terms that we need to make this as lit as possible. And I think this is the first time where we're actually going to make any kind of money whatsoever. So yeah. that's also so cool. also bring we're also bringing our own DJ. Other times we haven't been able to control the music, and he's really good. It's going to be nuts. Yes. So be ready. Ooh. Don't don't delay. Yes. So uh, you can get your tickets. Tinkets. You can get your tickets in the description. Go down there. Buy them now. There's early bird pricing as well. They might be sold out by the time you see this. Who knows? But if not, just make sure you get your tickets because they will be sold out fast. Mm -hmm. Wait, have you guys asked the audience what type of songs they would want to hear? Drop them in the comments. Drop drop them in the comments. We'll compile a set list. Uh, It has to be lit though, okay? Nothing like sad or anything like that. Sarah Sarah Barayas or whatever the fuck. These don't, these don't. She bangs, but not. (laughs) These these don't, uh, these aren't like you show up and stare at a DJ. These feel like house parties. Like we get crazy at these We get crazy. So I will drink. I never say no to alcohol. We're going to hand out Super Bonsai at the party itself. So if you've never tried it and you want to try Perfect Place, you just give us your phone number. We'll have a booth set up. We'll also be selling merch at yes. the, oh. our very Ooh. first merch drop. Excited. Pop on screen the hat. Somebody pop Boom. it on. Boom. Boom. This was designed by, our, Pow. <laughs> designed by our very own Brando. Woo. Yeah, look at the excitement. The hats are super cute. <laughs> yeah, so super. we're going to be, we're only going to have these, a limited number of these online. And then every, we're saving the rest for when we go on tour because we'll also be going to the Bay and back to Texas in next year. Yep, top so of next year. We're saving them. So if you can't buy them online, I promise you're not going to be able to get this design again. So get them now. Yes, sir. Get this video to 3,000 likes, and we're going to do giveaways of our merch. We'll pick three commenters on this video. We'll announce them, and you can email us or DM us on Instagram, and we'll give you this cuties hat for free. You have to leave a like, be subscribed, and leave a comment. Yes. yes three things. You got to hit us with the trifecta. Triple, triple, triple DP. Yes, sir. And also, the best way to support the show is buying the products, and yeah. Uh, Brando, do you want to say your sad announcement? Oh, it's not that sad, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm leaving the podcast. Brando hates us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He didn't, even, he didn't even try to he didn't even try to change that around. He didn't try to be like, no, he was like, it's not true. Yeah. Uh, no, I just need more time for myself. This is very time consuming, and I think it's at the tipping point right now, mm-hmm. and it's just gonna skyrocket. And I know I don't have time for that, and I just need. Um, I need a space for my own artwork because I haven't given myself any capacity for that in the past few years. And I just want to do like my oil paintings. Yeah. See how hard of- we work? 
Yeah. So hard that Brando wants to quit. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that was his nice way of saying he don't fuck with us. He's yeah. like, I just wanted to hang out with myself. Yeah. <laughs> I would rather be alone painting. Yeah. <laughs> but for real, that Brando has put in a lot of out. Brando started the show with me and Jeremy. Straight up mm-hmm. built the original studio by hand. If yeah. you guys have ever seen that video. He, While Jeremy did up, nothing. I, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so Brand, Brando has been videos. integral. You're not in the videos. I, I, don't, I don't even live here. I know he can't build because I, I try to build Legos with him. He was fucking up everywhere. Build Legos with him? What <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, I built them. Legos with him. Mm-hmm. It was, it was, for a video. It was a TikTok video. It was for a video you and didn't it never see came it? out. No, I, didn't gotcha, gotcha, I never gotcha. dropped it. Wow. But, uh, but anyways, yeah, Brando has been super integral to our success and... We're gonna have to replace him. He'll still be. He'll still be doing yeah. things behind the scenes. Maybe helping with original content. And yeah, so he's not. He's still doing all the nectar stuff. Yeah, yeah, and he's still like pretty much yeah. But regardless, you won't see him as much on the set anymore. So everyone, drop in the comments your favorite thing about Brando you've learned. Oh yeah. So it's our favorite robot. Yeah. yeah what's if, your favorite? And if it's not nice, drop it too. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He has no feelings. It's okay. Yeah. Wait, I also want some transactional thing like. Uh, Follow me on Instagram or something. Yes, yes, I want to get something. You know? I was gonna say if there's a way to support your art, well, how do they how do they do that? I think just sharing it on Instagram. I mean, I'm not doing it as a career. It's more mm-hmm. so just a hobby thing. But even just sharing, sharing it, it is nice. Do you? Po- I mean, you do post a lot of paintings. So check out his Instagram. It's literally at Brando, dude. Can we? It's so funny. All these little mother- people are DMing me now to try to get your yeah. account now. Yeah, I mean he has really? a, a rare handle, but um. And this guy sent a stupid one. I should have screenshot and sent it to you guys, but he was like, uh, "Please don't have Brando message me." It's like <laughs> what? Wait, why? You know, I was like trying to do some stupid reverse psychology. <laughs> I get so many uh, kids that are in high school named Brandon, and they're like, "Yo, you're really fucking up my shit right now," because <laughs> people sometimes call me Brando at school, so like. <laughs> Give me this or I'm gonna report you. Oh bro, there was this what? Fun- hold on, hold on. There's this funny <laughs> ass scene from the from the Hawaii vlog. I think it should have dropped by now, but there's there's a funny ass scene of like Eddie filming these two fans. One's like, oh my god, I love Vin, he's my favorite. The other one is like, I love Eddie. And then it pants to some guy and he's like, it's like normal party scenario, and then it pants to some guy and he's dead serious. He's just standing there, arms crossed. He's like, yo, dead ass though, like how big is Brando's shoe? <laughs> <laughs> Like, he looks, like, concerned. Like, I really need to know, man. The girls that, that was, are fucking with him should be Brandon, concerned. do you want to just reveal it since it's the last that one? Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the only question that people were asking me at the party. Really? Yeah. Like, constantly? Like, how yeah. big is it? That's just, crazy. Yeah. Isn't that kind of sexual harassment? Yeah. Guess, yeah. I'm gonna sue. I'm gonna sue. All of them. I guess we've all been kind of sexually harassing Brando yeah. on the show. Like, 100. percent I got all the evidence. No, but he's yeah. HR. He, if he didn't like it, he could have. Yeah, that's true. Us. If he didn't like it, you would have said something. Yeah. Ah, you like it. He liked it. it. He liked it. <laughs> Wait, so are you gonna reveal it or not? Well, not. I, I could reveal my Twitter handle if if. Say it. <laughs> wait, wait. Say it so that we can bleep it and put it on the exclusive platform. Yeah. Uh, I gotta wait till we're done with nectar for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh shoot. Let's just say it's bigger than a nectar can. <laughs> yeah. It's it's uh. If you see it ever, it's shockingly like it's like that's why we make jokes about it because it is like what the fuck like what is that? Yeah. What is that? Like what is that? Hey, can I tell them about how when people got upset at you by because you censored it? Oh, yeah, that was so long ago, too. <laughs> she was so, so one time, so Brando always never posts his face. He only posts paintings. And one day, the little thought posts a picture where he's, he's naked reading a newspaper. It's super artsy looking. And then he just censors his shmeet, and it's censored down to basically his knee. And there's, <laughs> there's people in the comments upset. They're like, there's no way. Like, fuck this guy for faking his, like, dick size or yeah. whatever. I got- How insecure are you? You have to yeah. add extra inches. Yeah. Wait, but that was actually censored, or was it, like, was it a it was, joke? Or? Yeah, it was the tip ac- popping out the head, it, too. It was, it was accurate. Yeah, you could see it if you wanted what? to. What? Yeah. You're shitting. I had, I had I two people hate emailed me, though. Not even comment. They sent me emails. Imagine being so mad about someone Schmidt's That was size. me. I was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Before you met him, he <laughs> randomly popped up. I see him in person. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, write down in the comments your favorite thing about Brando. Be original. Don't say his Schmidt. You've never seen it. But uh, but yeah, he's, he's going to be... I'm sure he'll come back. Say your favorite thing in one sentence. About Brando? Yeah. His Schmidt. No, I'm kidding. Um, I think I like Brando's... I think Brando is quite emotionally intelligent. And even That's though he it. doesn't... One sentence. <laughs> I, uh, Brando and I are very similar, so <laughs> <laughs> he made it about himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he made it about himself. 
<laughs> me? For Brando's humor. Yeah, I was just about to say, Brando's wit and creativity. I didn't even really get to say mine. Yeah. <laughs> as emotionless as he is, he's a very kind man. Yeah, he's a very caring person. Yeah, he really thinks caring. about I'm going to miss you, Brando. Yeah. Smart man. Well, it's just this. Like, it's just me I mean, behind but, you. Yeah, I've yeah, never seen you outside. It's the only time we hang out. You don't really although, ever hang out with us otherwise. Although we should uh, play basketball. We should figure out that game. Versus Sweet Tea or something. All right, well... We've been saying this for a year. Yeah, Cute, beautiful let's, moments let's, with Brando let's, here. Let's continue the episode, though, because we've got a lot to okay. cover. So, we have a very... Sp- oh, no. Should I talk about the Texas stuff or... Uh, the car rental story. It's pretty funny. Tell the car rental story. Jeremy okay. just went to Texas. Yeah, so I just got back from Texas, and I, I prepaid. I used American Airlines to rent a car. And when you go to an airport normally, there's the car rental spots right there. So I get off the plane. I'm like, okay, I got to get this car. And I had a meeting that I'd, I'd go visit a store and meet some store manager. So I had like two hours of time, which I thought was plenty. And I get to the car rental spot. And the, the, the brand, the car brand company, I realized was just some random one. And it wasn't at the airport. So I was like, what the fuck? So I go through the email and I search it. It's 20 minutes away. So I, when I get there, it's this kind of like this beaten down car rental place doesn't look super fancy like a Hertz or an Enterprise and I go in and I shit you not there's 15 people in the lobby just like sitting there with all their luggage and there's one person at the desk in another room and one person basically working with them like uh oh something's up so I go in there and the guy's like yeah if, if you know if you need your car sign up there whatever it is I was like okay I sign up and then I go in and I'm sitting there for like 10-15 minutes and I'm just seeing everybody sitting there and there's no movement he's still with the same guy when I walked in so I start talking to everybody I'm like yo how long have you been here to the one guy and he's like I've been here for two hours <gasps> I was like no and then the other guy he's like but he was in front of me and the guy's like I've been here for three and I'm like, what is going on? They're like, we have no idea. And then everyone starts talking. I've been here for an hour. I've been here for two hours too. I've been, and so like, I'm like fired up. I'm like, I'm ready to call American Airlines. Be like, we should all get refunds. Like, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, getting everybody hyped up. To we we may just like storm the guy at the front desk and take the keys. And then <laughs> I'm sitting there talking to everybody. All of a sudden, he comes out and he goes, Jeremy. And I'm like. <laughs> What? <laughs> and I feel every eye in the room staring at me, like lay like knives into my fi- into the back of my neck, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" I'm like, uh, "I don't know." And he's like, "Yeah, uh, your your car's ready. You fill out these forms." So I go into the next room, and I'm like, "Okay." Two people come by, and they're like, "How is he going?" We were here before him, and I was just like, "Dude, I have no idea. Like, I didn't I didn't pick the order." And the, and the guy was like, "He prepaid." I was like. Yeah, I prepaid. <laughs> and they were so fucking pissed. And I just had to get my keys and I just like That's covered so my face. That's so awkward. Yeah, so awkward. I was like, oh my after God. he riled them up, <laughs> I riled they see everybody. their leader betraying yeah. them. Oh my I was, goodness. I was just like, oh, well, see you guys. <laughs> this is a freaking like movie I, I'm, scene. I'm literally imagining him like, like, like preaching to a masses <laughs> and they're all getting <laughs> yeah. mad. And then they yeah. call him and he turns and he's like, well, that doesn't matter. Fuck all you. <laughs> yeah. some, some people, after I'd like, talk, I was like, maybe I'm going to go somewhere else. They're like, yeah, that's a good idea. They called Ubers and left and all this shit. That's and then I just. He made them leave so that he could move up the queue. No, no, no. I was just on Dude, a he different prepaid. list. I had prepaid. So they were they were about to. He prepaid. Yeah. yeah. But Come on now. Dude, and I, was, and I, should, I was on the phone with American Airlines while being like, Dude, I need a refund. This is crazy. And then he's like, Jeremy. I'm like, uh, never mind. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I just hung up and I went in. <laughs> That's happened to me. I was going Karen mode. I was prepared to go Karen mode. <laughs> I, this happened to me quite often where I'm in Karen mode and then like it just gets resolved and I'm just like, never mind. <laughs> like just bang it on him. Are you still angry after? No, no, no. I'm or chilling. Just like, oh, okay. like, so, or do you feel stupid? I feel stupid. <laughs> I feel stupid. Hey, but low key, we should move to Austin. Who's that? I'm down. Why? Austin is so nice. It's nice. It's uh, it's the most beautiful out of the three. I mean, we were only there. Well, you guys were only there. I agree that it's the best looking city out of the three. Yeah, and uh, just the the people are very nice. It's diverse. It's becoming more diverse. There's a lot of like uh, good food. entrepreneurs because it's just like a cheaper. Yeah. The money, dude. I started playing a game. How low I could find gas. I found gas for two dollars and seventy five cents. I started That's washing crazy. my car with it. <laughs> I started. I started Mr. Beasting everybody that came in. I was like, I got your gas. I got your gas. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> Cheap, it's, bro. It's like seven dollars in California. It's wild. Yeah. Cheap. Also, uh, everybody's super nice, and you could get like nice property. Nice. So we should all move. Yeah. I'm down. down. You're actually all down. I'm literally. I have, down. I have nothing holding me here. Nothing. Nothing about LA is keeping me except for this. So if this moves, like I'm down. Mm. Also, cowboy boots are cute. I, I I'm real big into country music now. Yeah. <laughs> also, Recently. would you move? 
Uh, yeah, I was, con- I was already considering Austin or Miami. So really, I'm also down for Miami. Also, no, you guys would get eaten alive out there. I would die probably. Yeah, yeah. you would die. I would die. If but beaches, all- who? Beaches, beaches, oh, and snitches. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> I don't like being Which away kind? from water. Huh? I don't like being away from water. It's like <laughs> just makes life better with. I agree with the water. water. Miami is hey, very no, no, beautiful. No, 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 no. Austin has a beautiful river. Barton Springs is a <laughs> huge river. It's like muddy. No, it's not. You could swim in it. It's super nice. <laughs> cool, man. All right. Anyways, let's get on with the. Not, he said he didn't like water, and I found I just so solved the problem. The ocean. I love water. Yeah, he said he wants to be near water. Yeah, exactly. Barton Springs. Anyways, <laughs> um, I also think that the SoCal weather though is unbeatable. Like the weather in both those places sucks, dick. Yeah, oh, really? but it, but then the money that you save makes it worth it. Miami's like, just, just as expensive as I would, I would pay an extra no, five hundred to a thousand dollars in living costs to have this weather. To and California is only say you can lane split. We're we're getting motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny about that, Brandon? <laughs> like in Texas, not you can a real get a horse. priority. <laughs> to me, it is. I hate traffic. In Texas, you can get a horse. <laughs> Wait, how could you get I don't a, know horse? How to ride a horse? <laughs> You don't know how to ride a motorcycle. Yeah, if you I'm, get I'm if learn. you get a uh, if you get one cow, you get all the tax benefits. True. Really? Oh, wow. I always wanted to raise a cow. I want to ride. I've a seen cow. a mini cows on TikTok. They're literally they just grow to the full size of like a dog. They're so oh. cute. Oh, they're very cute. Yeah, right. I've seen them. Let's hit this episode though. We're already like. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So wait, this is the episode. First date etiquette for man or woman. What? <laughs> That's on this. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The- no, no. What the fuck? We have my brother sitting here. I know, there. I know. But I saw that on there. I'm just going down the list. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Just That's skip a, that top part. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah okay. That's a different thing. Let's start. We, we ain't going to talk about Oyster Lady? We are. We are. Oh, we'll get, okay. We'll get to Oyster that. Lady. Oh, yeah. I'll move him to the bottom. All yeah. right. Well, anyways, we have the Butter Boy here in the flesh. <laughs> Well, let's, let's give context on the, the butter, butter boy. So this guy, as a child, used to go in the fridge and eat straight butter. Like, he would steal the butter out the fridge and eat it, like, sticks of butter, margarine, like, by the handfuls. And then he would hide the butter so, yeah. so that he could keep it to himself. So he would, like, keep the butter behind the couch. And then, uh, I forget what, do you, wanna, do you remember, like... How Daddy. they found that? Had- oh, my my grandma just goes behind the couch and sees, like, 10 and. Em- he doesn't know. Ten you know, empty tubes of butter just like under the couch. Ten empty tubes. Yeah. It was like <laughs> the big margarine tubs too. Like yeah, I was literally was like it. scooping it. How old were you at the time? This last year? Like <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, I was maybe like 19. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I thought it was cute. I thought this was like a, he was like four years old. Oh, no, no, no. I was like, I was like six, seven. Yeah, no, no. Oh. He, was, he, was, he was a baby. Wait, do you still, do you still like butter that oh, much? Oh, not, uh. <laughs> like, would you, would you still like so going down to one tub a week? Yeah. He's, he's, yeah, he's over here like, I've had a rough day. Just. <laughs> yeah, I was like, people have a drink. He melted his mouth like. <laughs> now, you want to know what's a fire way to start the day? A little, like a tablespoon of butter with some dark chocolate. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 what the what? fuck? I thought Fire. he was like saying coffee. Yeah. Fire. I like bullet coffee. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, so you, you got a brand? Oh, like butter? Kerrygold? Like what do you... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah Kerrygold. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what? Like how big is the chunk and how big is the chocolate? It's like chocolate. It's just like one piece and like the equivalent of that in butter. What? <laughs> Dang. Yo, you just actually, like, good morning instead of like a cigarette. He just... Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have a snack that you would love. What is it? Piece of white bread, smear butter over it, pour sugar on top of it. Wait, but that's oh, no, yeah, that's yeah, fire. Dude, we, sugar and cinnamon. Fire. We used to sugar do that, cinnamon. but with um cinnamon sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but that's like brick toast. And brick toast hey, is bomb. Overall, yeah. though, this kid as a child was fat, and we were like, he eats the same stuff as the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so much fatter? And then we realized it was like an extra three thousand calories a day in butter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I wonder how that didn't kill him because that's a lot of butter. There's a lot of butter, <laughs> and then also, also, so I mean, you can tell right now he's got a large head, but <laughs> he's had a large head since he was a baby, so <laughs> he I looked like a bobblehead. <laughs> <laughs> I came out the womb with a dome. Yeah. Wait, so just real quick for some background, what's your age gap? Um, three and a half years older than him. Three and a half years older. Yeah. Okay, and uh, what was your wait? Same, same, yeah, yeah, same biological. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. For you know what reason, a brother means? I know, but I wasn't sure if the, 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 for some reason, I don't know, I thought the dad was different. No, no, no. Nah. We have the same dad. Wait a second. Same what? mom, same dad. Same yeah, mom, same wait, dad. That's I, how I, brothers work. How did you, how did you, how did you think that? Did you ever mention? 
No, I just Something knew that, that your mom had a. Your mom what? just got married. Yeah, just yeah. now. <laughs> I know, but I just there could have been dating. Who knows when they started dating? <laughs> I don't know, man. It just, it was, Nick's confused too. Yeah, what the like, fuck wait. is going on? Yeah, all right. Well, anyways, like, like, making up reality. What was so uh, what was what was going through your mind when Wu Talk was in juvie? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is another thing. Come up with some better transitions. What was that? <laughs> this shit is like it's like wiping your ass with sandpaper. That's how uncomfortable that was. Yeah. Uh, wait, are we actually going straight into that? Yeah. What the fuck? No, can can I talk things. about some more self-destructive baby habits? Yes. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? I used to stare at the sun to try and train my <laughs> eyes to look at the sun. Did you know this? <laughs> no. Yeah, I, was stare, I was staring at the window and I got low-key good at it at one point. <laughs> so it was like, I could look at the sun for like 30 minutes. Oh. And then I'd look away and it's just red. <laughs> like, bro, bro almost blinded himself. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but do you, don't you guys look at the sun when you want to sneeze? That's a thing. Yeah, but that's a glance. I'm talking. He's trying to train his eyeballs to look. Wait, at the who sun. taught you that? No one. I just thought I'd beat it. Like, <laughs> bro, he uh, he used to shove cookies into the Nintendo 64 thing. <laughs> Why? Uh, amplify the cookie. He thought it would make the cookie big, like on the screen. Hey, did you think? <laughs> did you uh, did you think that he was special in the beginning? <laughs> No, he was special looking because of his head size. <laughs> With big yeah. head, no yeah, but brain. But also staring like he walked away. <laughs> we, were like, we were like, bro, his skull must be this thick because this motherfucker doing the dumbest you know, shit. That's why he was able to balance his head because there was nothing in there. It was dum, 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 dum. Hey, what was his personality like to you when he was younger? Were you like, he's dumb? Like, why does he keep putting cookies and staring at the sun? I mean, bro, I was three years older than him, so I was doing dumb shit too. I was like a, so he was like a, kind of like a goof, like kind of like a dumb, let's say dumb, right? Not yeah. really dumb, but like a, like an airhead baby. And yeah. then I was like a destructive baby. <laughs> like my, my mom took me over to her friend's house one day and they're like, my parents both took me to a friend's house. I'm like three years old or something. And they're like talking in the room. And in 30 minutes I had painted their entire wall with crayons, like destroyed oh, the wall. No. You like, were one of those babies. Yeah. yeah. I was that's like, when, that's when you put them up for adoption. Yeah. yeah. I was one of those <laughs> yeah, babies where it was like everywhere I went, I caused damages. My goodness, yeah. man. It was just built in you. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? Oh, my bad. You know, it's a little loud in here, but I saw you looking beautiful from all the way over there, and I just had to come invite you to the Where My Hug At tour. <laughs> tour? What are you, a rapper? Uh, nah, see, we podcasters, but you know, we throw in some lit parties in LA, San Diego, no, and no, I want to no, make sure y'all invite. Ah, oh, no, it's my boy, you know, this? twin. Oh my God, there's two? <laughs> Actually. Tickets is going fast and there's a limited amount. So if you want to come through the tour, you got to get them right now. Oh my God, ew. What, you don't like nice guys? You're not even busy. Let me see your calendar. Pull You're not up. even that cute. Yeah. Damn, that party sounded lit, but they were ugly as hell. I have a question. So you guys both have like pretty good humors. When do you think that developed? Pretty good humors. Oh, <laughs> uh, pretty good humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. We're teaching our English guys. I keep, I keep adding S's where it doesn't belong. Um... Where do you think yours developed from? I think it was from similar consumption of media. Yeah. We're into incredibly similar shit like books, like yeah, yeah. videos, video games. We all played all the same shit and watched the same <laughs> things and read the same mm. books. Mm. Um, my, gra my fucking grandpa used to take us to the library and then make us. Literally, we had a quota of 40 books each to check out. <laughs> And it's like every week, like there's no human possibility of us reading 40 books <laughs> that week, but he would make us do it. And then we would sit at home and read as many of them as possible and then go to the library the next week. You guys both have good uh, vocabulary. And, it's from and I would say his is, he's hilarious at like metaphors. Yeah. Like similar, like he come up, so he's like, the wave had me doing tricks. <laughs> like, no, 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 that shit had me doing tricks like, on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The way Nick describes things is super funny. I started using that for everything now. Your TikTok is really good. Your fashion TikToks. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. The voiceovers crack me up. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I, figure, I feel like I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate. Because I feel like since the visual elements of them have become so like stagnant, mm. it's very uninspiring to speak over them. Mm. Man, yeah. look at this guy, all artsy and fartsy. Would you say? <laughs> would you say? Uh, would you say that you liked them as a little brother right away? Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, okay. right away. <laughs> well, not hell about right away. And they brought reverse. it from the hospital. I was like, who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Why is no one paying attention to me anymore? Oh, classic. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, I remember. I actually remember the day he came home from the hospital, yeah. which is strange because I was three or four. But I was literally like, it was at because he was born in San Jose, and that was where He's my got grandma building Legos in there. 
No, fucking Eddie doesn't give a fuck that we're filming a podcast. Uh, the slowest ice scoop ever. <laughs> but anyways. He's picking them one by one. <laughs> Li- he literally was, Eddie was just pick, hand picking ice one by one to make as much noise as he could. <laughs> I know, he's trying to be quiet. Yeah. But anyways, uh, fuck it. I remember literally, uh, we're at my grandma's house in San Jose, where my, like, my brother was born in San Jose. And I remember, like, I was like not cognizant enough to understand what a baby was or what my brother was. So everyone's like excited, like it's a happy day, and then they bought me McDonald's, so I'm gas. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then like I'm like walking around, I'm like, what's that? Like pointing at his like fucking crib. Mm. They're like, that's your brother. Like, come look, you're a young now. I'm like looking at this like little fucking, he looks like a, a worm with a large noggin. <laughs> and and then um and yeah, and then I remember everyone was just super happy that day. I was like, wow, I was in a great mood. <laughs> but, then, but then but then growing up, well, I obviously he's my brother, like I loved him, but then Slowly, there was like the being the older brother. I started to realize what that meant, and it was like he would do sh- like fuck shit and get in trouble, and then I was getting punished. Like there were times where it would be like me fully unrelated to the crime mm. that he would commit, and then I get the punishment. Like what? Like what? The, like, like they'll probably be like, "Wuta, come here." I like I, here. I I got caught stealing right, and my immediately first reaction is just going beat, straight to him. Yeah, beat my ass immediately. <laughs> She's like, "How could you teach him this?" Yeah, oh, really? like, what the fuck? I'm like, if I taught it to him, he wouldn't have got caught. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, yeah, and that would happen all the time, especially with my grandparents, where or at least my grandma, grandmother, where she would uh, they would just beat my ass straight up without not not even him. Like he would yeah. fuck something up, and then I would get beat. So did that make you not like him? It made me not like. Family, like that was part of like my mental health, like crumbling as a as a little as a little kid. Wow, you were like what five or six when that? No, happened? no, no. It was more. That was probably because what? It, I would say that happened when I was like <laughs> He's ten, stealing ten. At three. <laughs> Man, what am I thinking? <laughs> well, not stealing, but like if he like did like, if he fucked up or some shit. Yeah. There was one time that um I let him. So you know the little brother always wants to come hang out when the older brother's going to hang out. So yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm like ten or eleven. I think I'm eleven. I'm going to go ride bikes with my friends. My mom makes me take him. So he comes with me. And there's this fat hill by our crib, like a street hill too, like concrete. And I'm, we're all riding our bikes down this shit because it's like a fucking, it's like a, like a, like a, like, are you a pussy? Can you do a tech yeah. test? So we're doing it. And he's like, I want to go. I want to go. And I'm like, I know this is a bad idea. I'm like, nah, nah, you can't do it. And then eventually I give in. I'm like, all right, fine. We're going to go home anyways. Go. And I get on the bike. <laughs> he's going down this hill. He's like seven years old. Going down this hill and I see him wobbling. And I'm like, oh, nah. <laughs> he hits the curb, flies off the bike, face checks the curb. Like, literally oh. face checks the curb. And then like, obviously, I just immediately hear him start crying. So I'm like, oh, fuck. I run down there. I'm like, are you okay? And I look at his teeth were like ch- broken in half, his front two teeth. Blood pouring out of his face. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And then I, once I realize like, he's not going to die, I'm like, all right, fuck. We got to get you cleaned up because I can't take you home looking like this. Oh, so my I, God. Instead but of his teeth him, are cracked. Yeah, instead of taking They're him so straight cracked. home, he had to get fake teeth in. Yeah. Whoa. Instead of taking him straight home, we went to like my friend's house and I like literally cleaned him up and gave him first aid there and then took him home. <laughs> and then I still got my ass beat like crazy. Yep. And then, uh, and I was like, but like, <laughs> I'm like, I tried to stop him. Like, <laughs> what were, what were other things that you had to take on as the older brother? Take on as the older brother? Yeah. Like, you know, like responsibly, like that's one. You had to always be responsible oh, yeah, for him. I always him. had to get my ass beat. Yeah. You I just don't understand the, the logic of the parent Yeah, they're Yeah. They were bugging, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, it, the logic is that you're the older brother. I feel like in, s- in certain scenarios, yeah. like, yes, but for that to just consistently it was It was excessive. Be, yeah. It was clearly, yeah. like, unrelated and unfair. And then it was also, like, I'm seven. Yeah. Or, like, I was 10. Like, what, what responsibility does a 10-year-old need to have? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I get it if I'm 16 and he's 13 and I... I did teach him how to steal. And, and <laughs> how, how did you teach? What was the first moment where you were like, I was like, we would go to church and then leave church and I'll be like, I don't have any money, but I want candy. I'm like, watch this. <laughs> wait, wait, did he get caught? Yeah, he got caught. Okay, well, so then you messed up there. I mean, you, you deserve to get your ass kicked that time. <laughs> trust me, there are times I definitely deserve to get my ass kicked many times, but. It was just like the overall consensus of like sometimes he just fucked up, like beat yeah. his ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, but uh, so you wouldn't get your ass beat. Oh no! See, that's the thing though is that that's something I had to learn when he was gone. 
I was like, now when I fucked up, there wasn't anyone else that asked no to be. There wasn't a fucking <laughs> dummy to catch the beat for you. <laughs> scapegoat. Yeah. yeah, not even a scapegoat. It was like a lightning rod. Like, <laughs> like legit, he could commit crimes and then get away with it. Wait, so you would straight up do something wrong? They would not punish you and go straight to you. Well, I you mean, would, like, I'd you get, get like get punished. I'd get like yelled at, and yeah. they'd be like, "Look at like what's happening to your brother because you did this." Literally, that's and, what? And, 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 and Nick <laughs> is just like, "I'm looking." <laughs> There was times where it felt like he would do shit on purpose to get my ass beat. And, and it's like, I'm literally being beat the fuck up in the other room and I just see him in the corner just like hiding. Wait, did you feel bad? Yeah, I think, I, I think when I was like younger, younger, I was scared because like when I was born, I think like by the time I started gaining mental like, you know, ability, yeah. it was like, that was when a lot of our family, I think, started going to shit. Yeah. Uh, so it's like literally like the 2008 financial crisis, like my dad having a stroke, like all these mm -hmm. things. Yeah, yeah, so it's like basically a lot of my childhood, I can remember, it wasn't like happy. So mm -hmm. it, it was like, um, it was scary because he was like the one I, only one I was really close with yeah. in our family like that. So... You know, I, it, yeah. I didn't like watching that happen. And I think my, I think our like family understood that to an extent too. Like, it's like, oh, how, how do we get him to act right? Beat the shit yeah. out of his brother. Yeah, he was it's in his crazy. own little head, like yeah. own little world until he finally learned his abilities. And he was like, oh, it's <laughs> oh, if not, I do it's this. not that happy. <laughs> you know what's funny? You guys both, does your, does your dad have a booming voice? Like my dad has a deep voice, yeah. Yeah, you guys yeah. both have like a like a baritone. Yeah. Like <laughs> he a talks bass. like, but I get it from my mom. <laughs> 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 nah, I would say I take more after my mom, and then he takes more after our dad. Yeah, in terms uh, of like looks and like personality. Looks, looks personality. Definitely. I think personality as well. I don't. Yeah. He doesn't really know. My, like my dad was already crippled by the time he gained consciousness. So um, I have slight memories of my dad, and he was like, versus my mom. And my mom is like the. High performing, like stressed mm. out one, you know, and then he, my dad is like the chill one that was like, mm. oh, that's funny. Didn't really care that much. It's funny how that still is imprinted in him, even though yeah. your dad wasn't really involved. Nature is very important, regardless. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I see that with my adopted friends, where like, no, no matter like, like my one of my best friends, like for a time, like he um he's adopted and his parents are millionaires, like super rich. It was just like no matter how smart and well his parents, adoptive parents, raised him. Like, he just still, like, almost exhibited none of the quality. He didn't, like, inherit anything from his adopted parents, almost. Mm. And it was kind it's of like cool gene type. Yeah, it was completely, stuff, like, yeah. genetics just started showing out. He mm. started even acting like, because he reconnected with his biological dad. And it turns out he's exactly like him, personality-wise, everything. Like That's low-key scary. And it's scary. And I was like, damn, like, yeah. you're, you're nothing like your, real, like your parents that raised you, but you're so much like your biological dad, even though you didn't speak to the man until you were 19, 20. Yeah. Everybody in this room, do you guys feel like you exhibit characteristics of either of your parents? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. It's my all biggest fear. Mm -hmm. What? It's my biggest fear. Yeah, what about what about you, Michael? Yeah, with my dad. Is your dad like you? Uh, you said that you got your painting abilities from him, right? Yeah, yeah. Artist. His dad was also an oil painter. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, oh. uh, no, he's just like, once he's in a group and he can joke around, he just never stops joking. <laughs> like, he won't be serious. I've that's never funny. heard you joke yeah, once. That doesn't sound like you at all. <laughs> what do you mean? He's constantly joking. No, he's yeah. joking, but like, wait, in the same way that you joke? Or is he more like a Jeremy jokester? Like, yeah. No, your dad yeah. is kind of quiet. That's what I'm saying. If if once he gets into a groove, he won't stop. Yeah. But he's like that, yeah. That's funny. He's like... <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I'm trying to think which parent... I, I think I'm more like my mom, too. Really? Yeah, my mom is very, like, outgoing. And she's definitely uh, more emotional. Mm. Yeah. This comment read us for filth, where he was like, oh, Wutok's brother is, like, the less emotional, less outspoken, but quirkier version of him. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, that comment was shocking. I was like, damn, off, like, 10 Sometimes minutes. Sometimes the comments be reading us for filth. Yeah. Wait, hold on. So, you know, I don't see Nick getting angry. Do you get angry often, or? Very rarely. Rare, right? Yeah. He's uh, so calm and collected all the time. Just, like, I don't ever see him yelling. Because Wutok has a loud voice, and I, you know, yeah. he yelled at us a couple times. I feel like I get angry often, but it's more so a matter of, like, I don't like addressing things if I feel angry about it. Oh, so you're a bitch. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, so you're a pussy. And you have to fight her now. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't recommend it. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna beat she, go, she beat our whole family at that point. <laughs> Glue One that star would not mouth. recommend. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll just address it like after. 
Uh, I'm not feeling strong. You know, I'm not feeling strongly about it. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, I'll see you later tonight then. <laughs> <laughs> he's going he's gonna to hit me up. Hey, I didn't like that joke. <laughs> <laughs> he sends you a professional yeah. email. <laughs> I'm like, I thought about it. I still want to fight. <laughs> Put these on right now. <laughs> Put in the calmest way. <laughs> these are for you. <laughs> and he's like, ready? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, uh, did you guys wish you had more siblings? Mm. I would have liked a little sister. Why? Just to see what that would have been like. Like mm. our genetics, but in a female form. Ooh, you would be such a protective brother. Though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She would not have a girlfriend. Uh, a girlfriend. <laughs> she, would not have, she would not have a boyfriend until she got married. <laughs> I gotta meet yeah. the guy on their wedding day. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> what about you? you ha you're happy with two? Yeah. I think, at least given the circumstances we endured, like it would have been nice to have more company, but like even just financially, we were, they were oh, yeah, so yeah. strapped raising just two yeah, of there us. There wasn't much more to go around. Yeah, I was like, bro, if we had three. Like, Especially a girl. Girls are more expensive than guys, too. Mm. And I also feel like, you know, like trauma, like especially the type of trauma we went through might not have resulted in her coming out. Because I feel like we came out pretty good. But uh, but I don't I don't know if I could say the same if I had a little sister. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Have you guys ever fist fought? I've beat the fuck out of him. Though. I wouldn't say it was a fight. Yeah, beat, I don't like, think I fought back. Beat the yeah, fuck yeah, he didn't really him. fight back. Yeah. So what? what? Like, That's like, so sad. How, long, it's how more, long? It's more like he needed to get his ass beat. So what I was, was like, the situation? I don't even know. Like, it was like motherfucker did something dumb, and I was like, okay, I gotta punish him because. So for me, growing up, right, I didn't really have like male figure yeah, ahead yeah, of yeah. me, right, except for my grandfather, but he died when I was thirteen, and then, but he had me the whole time. So I was like, I had to sometimes play like the authoritative figure because my mom is just still our mom, you know? And she did a good job at playing both. But like, sometimes like he needed the scary man to come in and beat the fuck out of him. Yeah, mm -hmm. And I was cookies. willing to step up to the plate. <laughs> so I sacrificed, I was hitting him like, this hurts me more. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my dad dropped that line on me so many times. All the time, He's like, I'm doing this because I love you. I'm, I'm like, ducking and weaving, like, make me, make me. <laughs> yeah. I was like, don't love me, man. I don't want love. No more love, please. <laughs> Bro. You pull up with the headgear, like, put this on. <laughs> we go longer. <laughs> hey, wait. We're, we're wrestling. <laughs> you hey, Tux becomes a professional boxer. <laughs> like, hey, wait, but for real, though, he would, like, beat the fuck out of you? No, uh, like, not crazy. Not, yeah, no. it was, like, it was more so, like, uh, he was, he did, very rarely was he emotional about it. <laughs> like, especially when it was in terms of lesson. <laughs> 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 he just... Yeah, he'd be like, I gotta, I gotta hit you. Like, you, he was like, you just I need to get hit, hit for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Straight up, like, you know that this costs. Yeah, like, you, <laughs> there was a price to yeah. it. He was like, <laughs> you need to get punched for that shit. Yeah. And then, hey, like, I kind of. The mic is pointed, like, in your face, yeah, like yeah. this. All right. Like this. And I kind of just be like, you need to hit him for that. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know why I have to do that, right? <laughs> the audio. <laughs> Imagine every time the mic just travels away, I'm just like, <laughs> The audio matters, man. This is a podcast. Uh, okay, now I'll hold it up. I'll hold it up. <laughs> he flinched. <laughs> Everyone will flinch at someone doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, I, my reflexes were trained because of this. Hey, but so, yeah, you just remember getting beat up sometimes? Yeah. No, I mean, I was a little shit. I feel like, like in some ways. And like other ways, you know, I was definitely, I definitely caused way less stress, but like, <laughs> and you know, there are ways in which I, like, I feel like I don't think I ever fully grasped when I was young, how much attention and love I got because I was the younger mm -hmm. child. And mm -hmm. I think the minute I would lose some of that to him, although it's, you know, it should have been way more, like I should have had way less. He should have had much more of the share of the pie there. Like, but even when I would lose some, you know, like I'd get annoying. I'd become like a brat. Mm. And yeah, I was like those, I don't think I've, no matter how many times he hit me, like, I don't think that lesson was something I was getting taught. Like okay. My brain wasn't ex grasping it. Then when did you, when did you realize, when did you really appreciate him as a brother? Like, what was that moment where it all clicked for you? I think there was a few, I, th I don't think there was like a singular moment it clicked. I think there were a few years where like I thought about it a lot, like reflected on my actions. But because, you know, like after he went to Juvia and was away at the at school for a while, you know. So I don't think I ever, I kind of never had a need to address anything, you know, because he was just gone. When he came back, it was just like, we we're kind of both older at that point. Like, 
and would just live life, would live life. And then he went to co- like worked, went to college, started doing things. And I don't think it was really until quarantine that we really got close again. Hmm. So just your whole you life said changed something? during quarantine. Yeah, yeah, everything about it, pretty much. Wait, but real quick, the juvie thing. So when he left, you said that you started getting more attention, good and bad. Like, so what was that experience like when he was gone? No, I don't think when he was gone, I don't think there was more attention. I think it was um, like family was just in a, such a. I think at that point, like the lowest. Like mom was just. I don't think I saw her in a good mood for like years on end. Yeah. You know and. That I don't like, obviously, I don't blame her. I was like, what she went through as a mom, I wouldn't probably have been able to deal with that. You know, she was very strong. So it's like, not on her. However, when she came home, it's like, because she's in a bad mood now, you know, she's yelling at me for like small, small things. And it's like sometimes not small things, but it was still every day. And, you know, so I grew to hate being home. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't really take care of responsibilities and would instead just be doing anything to not be in this like family scenario would you say like you know Wu Tak has talked a lot about how not having a dad had affected him growing up like how did it affect you um I'd say in different ways because like he said I at least had an older brother you know so it's like I wasn't fully void of that regard but I think it was just hard like hearing about the stark contrast of life because like I do have certain memories of like pre like pre when we like ran out of money essentially Mm -hmm. and like when my mom didn't have that burden so it's like you know basically when it was good gated community yeah (laughs) it's like um man that's crazy to be like you had it and then you lost it to go through that is yeah is interesting it was literally from like top tax bracket to like dirt poor yeah like that Mm. so wait did you ever explain why that happened um, it was literally like my dad having a stroke. So the 90% of the income gone. Oh, and then he wasn't able to work like completely. He's like oh. crippled mentally, physically. And then at the same time, like a couple years later, 2008 financial crisis. So any assets mm. we had completely gone. Mm. And then the support from my uncles and stuff, they had successful businesses too, completely gone from wow. 2008. Yeah. So Damn. like it was like not just my mom's family. It was like our auxiliary family just getting like ripped through. Yeah. Yeah. So so then fast forward to quarantine, you guys are locked in a house together and that's when you got close? Yeah. How yeah. come? We'd smoke weed every night. Really? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> okay, actually, I, I, but now, now I want to switch over to you. Now you're spending time with your younger brother. Uh-huh. What were the kind of the moments where you're like, wait, I really like this guy? I think I always uh-huh. wanted to have a closer relationship with him. But like, because, like when you're doing social things, it's usually drinking after 21, right? At least for me, being an alcoholic. So once he turned 21, it was like I was able to be like, hey, come out to this mm. thing. And then he'd be like, yeah, I'm down. You know, and it wasn't like weird because it's like 24 and 21 is not a big, like I, I have 21 year old friends. I had friends his age that were like my genuinely like good friends yeah so it wasn't weird like at 18 to 15 like we're not relating 19 20 to 17 still not relating you know like i'm going to bars with fake ids he's in high school but then that's why i tell siblings like if you're like around that age range gap like literally after 21 is when you can actually relate that's literally everybody says that it's like oh when i went off to college yep right when when i was in college and they were out of college at that time yeah it's it's being able to go do social things at the same and see each other as equals rather than like my shit like my little brother that i gotta like bring with me also i think it's the why college is helpful a lot of times is because you're finally split up from them you're not spending every single day with them yeah so then you start to appreciate like who they were as a person very true Wait, so then what? Literally, you guys would just drink and smoke every night? <laughs> Not drink every night. I oh. would drink quite often, actually. But I was, like, doing the bar chemistry shit. Like, the second lockdown happened, I yeah. fucking grinded. Yeah. What did you think about your brother doing that stuff? I mean, during, quor- during quarantine, it was lit because I'd be in my room, like, fucking making beats. And he'd just be dropping off bougie cocktails to ah. my desk. So I'm just yeah. here sipping good. You know those beats were ass. <laughs> <laughs> He was super into music producing at that time, actually. So we're both like working on our own thing. Mm -mm. Yeah. I think it was just like, it was necessary to have some sort of habit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at at the time, when did Wu-Tak start bringing home a bunch of girls? (laughs) Yo, I have funny stories with this shit. Oh my God. When did you start noticing? He was like, oh, this guy is... 
Oh, <laughs> hanging out with a lot of girls. W- w- once he had the follower count assisting him. Wow. Oh yeah. I mean, before that it was happening, but just not on like as wild. I think of a <laughs> scale because it's like before that it's like you know he was still. He was like a physically attractive man, like working hard. So uh-huh. he, and he'd be on dating apps and stuff. So it's not like he wasn't bringing. He got. He was getting no hoes before. It was still happening, but I was like, it really started, you know, impacting <laughs> my home life. When yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nick, he's impacting your <laughs> home life. That's crazy. Yeah. Remember, he beat you. Okay, so don't don't be afraid to hold back. Nah. Remember, you deserve it. Though. <laughs> <laughs> the wild, the wildest part was like um. He'd be like, yo, can you leave for two hours? <laughs> I was Damn. like, well, it's like 11 p.m. at night on like a Tuesday. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you want me to do for two hours? He goes, bro, come on, I'll pay for your weed. And <laughs> he's like, just go smoke. I'm like, smoke for two hours? <laughs> what do you want me to smoke? <laughs> like the whole eighth? And he goes, whoa, who said an eighth? I'm buying you a J. <laughs> I was like, you're giving me one day to leave for two hours. And he's just like, yeah. And then uh, this guy's a deal maker. And I come back and be like, yo, you still have that week? Damn, this you got guy. any love? You want, you want to split that road? Yeah. But, so you literally just go walk, smoke for 10 minutes and then walk around the block? And like, uh, Sometimes I'd be like, go to the PC bar. I can't, don't pay for it. It's like 275 an hour. Yeah. Damn. Uh, nah, I think during quarantine, it was like, I just, I wouldn't mind leaving the house because it's like, I'm you always- want to leave so bad. Yeah, yeah, it's like I was always just stuck there. So I just like, I drive down to Edgewater, which is like a town by the river. And then there was like a lot of spots by the water there you can smoke. And it was fucking empty. Usually these spots are packed with people smoking weed. But during quarantine, it was so empty. It was kind of like, it was relieving in a sense. Like and you, I just and it's there. like a view of the New York skyline too. Yeah. Oh. So so he, you should be thanking him. We <laughs> got you, yeah. dog. Come on. Yeah. That was good for your personal I, development. I'd he always, saved you. I'd always have weed for him after still too. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. If he, if he smoked it all, he would get his ass beat again. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, when when uh, when Wu Talk started getting girls, were you like, I want that too, or no? Uh, yeah, I mean, to an extent, I think um, I was down bad at the time. <laughs> <laughs> not not like over getting women over my ex. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, we're yeah. gonna clip that. We're gonna skip the second. Wait, are you sure that bit's in frame? Yeah, I had to make it wider. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah, on. yeah. Oh, my just bad. Sit, sit like more like regular towards us. Yeah. Wait, uh, wait, but were, were you like asking him for tr- tips and tricks? Yeah, I was like, make nine videos a day. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be like, he, he, he would just be like, you know, copywriting makes more money than me- making beats, right? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I would give him books, be like, read this. <laughs> we'll teach you how to make money. But, yeah. um, no, nah, I don't think, I, yeah, I don't think during that time I was too focused on it. I think afterwards a bit, like, like yeah. when you moved out. Have you oh, yeah. Had- well, after I moved out, but I was, I don't know. Have Things you coached out him at all well. or no? He just kind of found his own I think he kind way. of has his own sauce. Like, he, he's good at talking to people. Like, the number one thing is, like, are you good at conversing and are you attractive to girls? And that's yeah. the only two factors. Yeah, I don't think I could. Although I le- like, would want to eventually, like, I don't think uh, like. Wu Talk's methods would be... The most effective for me. <laughs> you yeah, guys are way too Shmi- different, yeah. Yeah, sending a Schmeet picture right out the gate. The is that is not my method. <laughs> <laughs> With his face photoshopped on the tip. <laughs> Wait, a question. Has Wu Talk's like fame ha- uh, ever got you like? I don't a think. Girl? So. I don't you think ever so. Got some splash I don't. I don't think directly <laughs> me through that. His, I, I think his, his friends bio. have. Josh has right, or like was it Kevin? Somebody, one of your friends was like, "Yo, bro, like this girl I matched with on Hinge was like, why does Wu Talk follow you on Instagram?" And um. he was like, "Oh, that's my best friend's older brother." And then he said that it worked out for him. Yeah, no, uh. I think that was Josh. That was hey, Josh. his IG bio at Bar Chemistry's brother. <laughs> <laughs> wait, there was a funny. Wait, he went on like a Hinge date, and some girl oh. was like, "You want to tell it?" Yeah, so I'm on a Hinge date, and this girl was like, "Oh, like." You really remind me of this guy, and pulls up his TikTok, <laughs> and oh, I'm just having no idea. Literally like, zero clue. Okay. Like I haven't told her at all. Like I don't think any of my like hinge. Like she could maybe she if she went through my IG in detail, she'd see him like maybe tagged as like a picture credit. But 
There's no like real substantial information showing that I'm his brother, like on, on anything. And she was just like pulls up his profile. I was like, holy shit! <laughs> like, you got a good eye. Yeah, I was like, I was like, damn. She was like, your voices are like similar. I was like, damn. people keep. I, we don't really hear it as much, but yeah, apparently it's we very sound apparent. Yeah. Oh, something I want to talk about is fashion because you guys are both into fashion, but you have a very. I feel like you're like a, a fashion head. When did that's like? When did you start to figure out your style? I think current style, like maybe past couple months. But like, like when did you get into fashion? He was in. I was, was always remember his original. <laughs> what was your name? Uh, backpack boys? Oh, yeah. the fucking bro appraisal. Yeah. Bro appraisal. <laughs> bro appraisal. <laughs> yeah, uh, huh, huh, huh. I think I was always into it because um, I think we both were because. Being Asian, in a, we grew up in like originally in a very white area. Like then, all of New Jersey was much more Asian. However, we still weren't like cool. So I think definitely that was like a good outlet for us to try and improve our attractive attractiveness in that sense. Mm -hmm. And then mom worked at a dry cleaners. Like, oh yeah, that was a. I'm realizing that was a factor too. Yeah, because like I remember um. Like, I remember I used to work for her during the summers and shit, and I'd deliver clothes, like, around New York City, and I'd be dropped. And, and if you're Chelsea, get, too. Yeah, so if you're getting dry cleaning delivered in you got New York, drip. like, yeah. you're probably, a, you know, a guy with money. And I'd be, like, taking these elevators up to their apartment. It's, like, elevator letting you straight into the apartment type shit. Yeah, and, like, dropping off this guy, getting fucking, like, 30 dress shirts just dry cleaned. I'm, like, yeah. cashmere sweaters and shit. Yeah. Okay, your mom uh, owned or worked? Worked at. Okay, damn, I was like, yeah. I was, but I was. She, she owned many and then uh -huh. uh, failed some. And uh -huh. then like, you know, and then eventually now she just works. She like runs the operations for yeah. like a, yeah. a chain of them. I was going to, I was going to ask, did you guys ever like wear the clothes that the customers brought? No, no. But like there would be customers that drop clothes off and never get them back. Yeah. And like mm -hmm. after like a year and a half, mm -hmm. like that's free game. Yeah. yeah I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah. the policy is like 180 days or something. It's yeah. like you're legally, it's yours. Yeah. And if you're dry cleaning it, that shop. shit is drip. No, because yeah. some people will be doing that. Like if they own a dry cleaner, they'll be like, oh, I like this. So they wear it on and dates dry and stuff. Oh, no, that's yeah. crazy. That's yeah. wild. Yeah. I've done that. Yeah. My mom would, if we did that, like my mom would have beat That'd be up. so funny. You're on a date and some guy comes over to you. He's like, that's my cashmere sweater, you piece of shit. <laughs> no, no, no. He's, like, he's like, oh, I like your cashmere sweater. <laughs> I got one just like that. <laughs> Was it, um, I thought it'd be interesting to go back to like the dry cleaners now though and see if like I recognize the clothes more. I like the brands and yeah. shit. Uh, Probably not, because it's like old people getting dry cleaning. Yeah, like it's not like the younger brands that that you're into. Mm. Dude, uh, at the at the at the time though, when you were growing up, what did your friends think about him? Probably mm. my degenerate stage. Scary. Yeah, yeah definitely scary. <laughs> I think a lot. Most of my friends were scared, very scared of him. <laughs> would you Would you beat their asses? Because I beat a few of them up. Yeah. Yeah. Because my, my friend had an older brother, uh -huh. and I wasn't his friend during this time. But like a couple years earlier, all my friends that were friends with him, the older brother was like six or seven years old, like a full grown man, basically, like mm -hmm. a senior in high school when they were like elementary, and. The older brother and his friends would like beat the shit out of him. Oh no, I didn't beat him for no reason though. It was like there was just little shit sometimes. <laughs> and I'm only three years older. Like six is crazy. That's yeah. like child abuse. Like yeah, yeah. No, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was a justice warrior, not really. Like, <laughs> then uh, I don't think anyone, at least my close friends, I don't think anywhere ever legitimately scared of him. Yeah, it was more so like, oh, like, who talks to scary older brother? You know? Mm. Yeah. I mean, there at church one time, fucking, I beat the fuck out of this kid, this annoying kid, Charlie, <laughs> and he's like a big boy. Like this is like a kid that he's like your age, I think, yeah. right? And he yeah. was like twice my size. He was trying to fucking, you're trying to take candy from me. <laughs> <laughs> he was then bullying me for candy, right? He has me like on the floor, and I think you're like holding me down with your like leg. And Charlie comes over like, hey, don't do that to him, and pushes with tuck off. <laughs> Charlie's a good kid. Wait, yeah. so Charlie's the good one. <laughs> Charlie's the hero. I was, hero. Thinking, <laughs> I was thinking that you were beating him up for No, 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 no. I was, I was the villain. <laughs> it's like a 2v1 no. and I won. I, I, it's I think Poor it's Charlie. so funny how it was literally because you were trying to take candy from me. <laughs> But it was also just like brothers being brothers, yeah. you know? Like the older brother, like, I want that. And him like, no. And I'm like, I'm going to take it. And then, and then he was, 
That, but that, it's not that he was trying to be, a, he's like kind of annoying like that. He gets involved in business he shouldn't be involved in. Mm. So he comes he over and like, tries to like drop kick me off of him. And I'm like, oh, hell no. And I just, and this was like right post juvie. So I'm in this like mindset of like, mm. I was like a completely different person. And then I just re- like beat the fuck out of him. Damn, like, that yeah. story went <laughs> went a different way. Because he was like, yeah, Charlie was a big boy. Like, you know, but I beat him up for Neg. It's like, no, 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 no you no, beat no. him he up. Was, no, no, I just <laughs> beat him up. <laughs> God. That's what else crazy. do you like to do? What he's doing. Charlie, if you're out there, I'm not bad. <laughs> good, man. He is. He's, uh, he's matured. I remember when we were at church recently, and it was like me, Jeff, Joe, and Charlie catching up. Mm-hmm. And then they were talking about how you were a menace. Oh, yeah, yeah. And no, then, I was um, a complete menace. And then, Charlie tried saying something and Joe was like, Charlie, shut up. You are a menace too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you talking? <laughs> Charlie has Wutok's picture all over his wall. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after that day, he did respect me greatly. He never, he never talked back to me again. Now Charlie's the one probably DMing you every time you're in New York. <laughs> I'm gonna find you. No, no, no. Charlie, Char- I have Charlie on, on social media. Uh, He's a friend, uh, yeah. Uh, Wait, what have you learned from his experience of not to do or like, paths to take in life like one example he said he was like dude copywriting makes more money than making beats like how has he influenced what you're into now i think just like it doesn't really like all the semantics don't matter if you're not going to work hard and i don't think i worked hard and i think that's like the main thing that's changed you know like after he left i think there was like kind of moments where it's like um where it's like, damn, I don't have him constantly badgering me to work harder. Like, if I don't work harder, I'm literally not going to go anywhere. You know, I don't have this kind of, you know, guy m- making, p- like, paving the way. Did you go to college? Yeah. He, yeah, he finished college. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I graduated. But um. And were you lazy all through college? Or, like, when did it snap where you're like... Oh, uh, yeah. School. So school is kind of bullshit in that sense where it's yeah. like, I like it for the experiences it provided, but... I never, you don't have to try hard at that shit at all to do that well. Yeah. Like, just especially. Just graduate, right? Huh? If you want, you don't have, you don't have to work that hard even, to Even to do well, because cheating mm. is so, like, Easy. doable. Easy. Mm. Yeah, it's like, it's not hard You're to cheat. In a classroom of 50, like, there's one teacher. She yeah, it's low-key, like, you should be cheating. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's like, um, and, like, you know, at certain points, like, can I say drug things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, I'm um, bro, if you had Adderall, like, there's no reason. All you needed was Adderall in one day and you're good on any That's test. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> yeah. Like, and then you would forget everything the minute the test yeah, ended. Yeah. Like, yeah. the Whoa. second I walked out of that test room, like, literally, I had joint in hand, blew down the whole thing, and then I got so drunk that I probably forgot who I was. That was exactly <laughs> how it went. Yeah. What did, what, uh, what did you go to school for? Uh, business analytics and information technology. Doesn't it kind of help what you do now? Oh, no, a lot, a ton. Because it's like, <laughs> it's also a Bachelor of Science versus a Bachelor of Art. Mm. So I think that part changed a lot because I ha- it's like technically a STEM degree. What do you do right now? Can you share what you do to the public? I'm an uh, s- associate product manager for American Express. Nice. I work on uh, Apple Pay. Would you, mm. guys ever, would you guys ever work together? Yeah. Yeah, I would like for to sure. one day, yeah. What would you like? What would you see? What would you see him doing for for you? I want him to like develop more as his own like person with skills. Like product management is something that's transferable across so many mm-hmm. industries, anyways. So, and then I need to get to a point where I could employ him and not like drastically lower his quality of life. You know? Yeah. Yeah. What would you? Uh, I mean, being in project management, like, do you like it? It's product. a hard ass job. What? Product management. Yeah, you like it. it- it's yeah. different from project. Yeah. You said project. Very, oh, very different. Oh, business proposal. What? Woo Brothers Incorporated. You sell t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> you sell t-shirts, graphic tees of, of, what's that fucking New York rapper that died? Dude, Pop, Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke. Yes. That's exactly what I was thinking about when he, that's like, he was saying about? the woo. Like, I was like, bro. Yeah, that's us. That <laughs> shit was gas. Yeah. So I was like, that's me. Wait, yeah. time out. Let's do promos. Okay. You got that thing in your hand. What um, is that? Wait, real quick. That reminded me of the fucking beef. Uh, you remind me of the guy from Beef who was all coming up with like the shitty business idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he basically called your idea shitty. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, when I start out, I become rich. <laughs> you he shirts. laps us with the Who yeah. Brothers t-shirts. <laughs> so uh, anyways, by now you've heard of this. Super Recovery by Super Bonsai. So these are my anti-hangover supplements. Super Bonsai is my holistic health supplement company. And basically, this is eight completely natural ingredients 
doctor formulated to tackle every part of your hangover. Look at this here. This is a liver. We're going to call her Livy. <laughs> every time you drink alcohol, you hurt Livy. This is what it looks like. No. That, that's you to Livy. Ouch. So regardless of if you're drinking enough to get a hangover or not, we have the science and we have the data to know that there are natural things you can take to not only protect Livy from being hurt, but to stop your hangovers in the morning. So Asian people have been doing this for literally thousands of years. That's why when you go to Japan, Korea, every convenience store, every nightclub, they sell tons of brands of hangover supplements. But it's just now becoming a thing in the West because we did the research on this thing called DHM. DHM is the thing that helps Livy process out the poisons made by alcohol faster. So if you want to protect your liver, uh, you can get it. Discount link is in the bio as well. And... If you use code ALOHA till the end of the year, we are donating all the profits from that code to the Maui Food Bank, and um, and you get twenty percent off with that code. So wow, that Cute. was a great story, Mom. Prote protect Livy. Protect Livy. Stop abusing Livy. You should, you should put a condom on it. Livy sound cute. I thought about that, but then it would get yeah, all like yeah. grimy and shit, yeah. and I want to keep reusing her. That's how livers look like. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's weird. I mean, it's it's not the right color, but like it's this shape. It turns that color if you drink too much and you yeah. don't take Super Bonsai. This is probably what my liver looked like before Super Bonsai. I was wondering what that was. It looked like a submarine. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was a. All right. Or, like or a whale. Like, I was like, yeah. I guess a we have lamp, to talk about that. A genie that. lamp. Ooh. Oh, a genie lamp. That's or it looks like like a deformed banana. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So uh, for us, what? Will, oh yeah, new variety pack is out. We're gonna be doing a drop in SoCal. There's also gonna be a party involved. Nectar's birthday is coming up, so we already talked about it at length, but just don't forget. And oh, wait, can, wait. Text us. Text us for oh, yeah. details. Send us a message. The keyword and the phone number will be in the description. And yeah, just keep buying Nectar. It's really helping. Now back, oh. now back to whatever the fuck they were talking about. And uh, don't you have a surprise? Oh, yeah. So it was Esther's birthday, and I was... Uh, gonna kill myself so I wasn't on the show <laughs> but uh but I'm back and healthy now so anyways I was like really thinking about what to get Esther and it was like she doesn't give a fuck about designer shit well, she's not who like said that <laughs> you what said that yourself you? oh did I what the hell man oh well you played okay, yourself so I guess it's not designer yeah it's nothing okay, nothing right. physical actually so okay. it's this email I wrote you no I'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> but it is I do have to email it because I got you it's like I, I did some research and I learned that you like massages and oh. I remember you talking about Wii Spa, that you like it there. So oh. I just bought you Wii Spa gift cards. So oh. it should be enough for you, a friend, to have entry and do like all the massages and shit. So uh, one gonna, entry? No, no, two entries. Oh. It, it's just a dollar amount. You spend it however you want. But oh. yeah, it's we, to Wii Spa. Wii, Wii Spa is only $30 to get it. No, but so then there's like, like massages and shit. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> Don't y'all play me. I'm kidding. I just take it back. No, no, yeah, no, you know what? No, I'll just no, spend this. I get it. No, hey, no, you no, want to no. go to Wii Spa, Jeremy? No, 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 no. no that, that's a really, really thoughtful gift because I really do love massages. I go like every, like, I try to go every week or every other. Okay, so it's three, three gift cards. Uh, I'm going to try to forward them to you right now. I'm going to forward them to you later. This is not a good thing for the podcast. Oh. But anyways, I also got something for Jeremy. Quick, somebody make entertaining noises while I'm gone. I'm excited. Imagine My throat is designer. like extremely dry. <laughs> oh, that was fast. Oh. Basically, I'm cleaning out my closet, and I was like, oh, who is in dire need of drip? And then I thought immediately in my mind, Jeremy popped he up. He just you. Yeah, I thought of Jeremy and all the times he wears clothes. And I remember he complimented me on the shirt. He was like, can I have that shirt? No way. When I first bought it. You're going to give like, that to me? Yeah, there's two versions of shirts oh. from this brand, Tombolo, that wow. I feel like it just doesn't fit my current arc of drip. So I am passing this on to you. I'd gladly take them. I love oh, this one. Fuck. There's that one. <laughs> wow. This is, hey, look at this. And hey, you know one. what? That's and a these are expensive to... shirts. These are $150 shirts each. How do I wash these? How do I wash these? I just wash them like normal. normal? Uh, probably is not the best way to do it. Maybe I wouldn't dry them. This is a yeah, towel material. I think them. you're fine. I'm going yeah. to wear it right now. Oh, uh, Wu-Tang, that was a good way of dissing people. Like, if you're going to diss someone, at least... Give them something. Yeah, like, it's yeah. like, it's like, dude, when people were like, oh, Esther, you're breaking, I'm like, okay, and? You know, like, what And then the they fuck? give you, like, a cream? Yeah, I was like, no, yeah, give me a cream. I'll be like, cool, you know? Uh -huh. This Sushi is valid. Jamming. And it fits him, right? Is this, like, fishing? No, 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 that's a tennis-themed one. So oh. that's actually... Those are tennis court nets on the pockets. Okay, okay. I don't play tennis, but... Wait, there's literally a tennis hey, ball here? Hey, you think here? that it'll fit you? You can have the tennis one. 
You can take enough hit me. But I feel like he would. That's not his swag. He no. loves tennis. That doesn't mean that he cares about. That good on you though. What played today? Yeah. Yeah. He's really good at tennis. Yeah, but I remember you were like about the tiger. No, the tiger one is fire. Yeah. And See, it look, looks, it you always you. get what you ask for. <laughs> You're learning. Yes. That's literally Vit. Yeah, he always asks. Greet, every meet and greet, if Vit sees something cool, he's like, oh, like that hair tie is really cool. And they're like, thanks. He's like, can I have that? <laughs> Just like hoping they'll give the it The worst they can say is no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> worst thing they can say is no. Definition yes. of shoot or shoot. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually because I was so scared of asking for things as a kid. Now yeah. I just like go out of my way to do it now. By now, you've seen us drink this beautiful drink, and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian-inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have the disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text that tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. Now back to whatever the hell they're talking about. <laughs> Vit asked uh, uh, Joe from Just Kidding Films if he could have the 1 million uh, oh. subscriber <laughs> plaque. And he's oh, like, can yeah. I have that? He was like, ha, ha, ha. He just laughed. And I was like, why the fuck did you ask him for the 1 million? Oh, wait. Also, yeah, we went on JK News. Yeah, that was, was really yeah. fun. That was I love fun. I'm sad I missed out. They were they super were... cool. Like, uh, mm. way, like, they were just super authentic and, and yeah. funny and cool. And, like, it was it was a good experience. We need to bring them on this. No, yeah. yeah. We're, we're going to set it up with yeah. them. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. it was super cool because we watched them as a kid, you know, growing yeah. up. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. a super, yeah, like, w there's a lot of, like, full circle moments where it's like, damn, I'm really doing this. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then uh, that was one of them for me. Especially because it was the first one where, I mean, you weren't there, but almost all of us went together. Like, usually it's, like, two of us or, like, mm -hmm. you know, we go in groups because it's such a big podcast, but... They were, but down also humor wise, I think you would mesh with them the That's most. That's what I was saying. I told you because you guys that. are old. Oh. Mm, makes <laughs> sense. You guys are from the same. What is it? The nineteen seventies or sixties? Yes. yes. When you guys were pre electricity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. We would write letters, humorous letters to each other. This is how Jeremy. Back when Jeremy and Shakespeare went to com com <laughs> comic school together. <laughs> um. All right. Back to Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why was there that long pause though? I don't know. I thought he was gonna say something. No, Nick was just All, like, your okay, only what? prompt was back to Nick. <laughs> Hello. Knowing your full lives, right? What would you change about each other currently? I feel like we kind of glossed over when when Wu Talk went off to Juvie. No, uh, uh, did we? He went to Juvie. Like, how did it make you feel? Oh, yeah. How did mm. that make you feel? The, the lost years, we'll oh, call them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah. Actually, I don't think I've ever asked him that That's either. why I, I know oh, you have That's why now, I want to know. Okay, I see. You're right. Ask the question again in one concise sentence. So when Wu Talk went off to Juvie during his teenage years, we'll call them the lost years, <laughs> how did that make you feel? How did you handle it? What was your... your how, 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 how much did life change? I think to a certain extent, initially, I felt almost relieved because... You know, he'd be at home, like, fighting with our mom a lot. Yeah. And I wouldn't be fighting with anyone. So I'm kind of here, like, just witnessing this every day. And for me, at, like, times I was like, why do I got to deal with this? Like, I'm not causing any of this. He was like, lock his ass up. Get yeah. him out of here. <laughs> yeah. And that's why, like, the first... So he's, he's the one that called the cops. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I finally have the computer to myself to play Ruski. Yeah. He's like, he's over there. He's like, wait, there's a place I can send my sibling to where they're gone? Oh. Yeah, they get him out. Nah. So is that what it happened? You know, to an extent, it was like, I was like, oh, thank God. But obviously that didn't... The issues our family had were much more deep rooted than that. So quickly learned that that wasn't the case. But I think I just essentially, I cha I shifted to being okay being alone. Mm -hmm. You know, because it was like even when he came back, it's like at that point we're not as close. He's living life like he was working, 
going to school, like trying to fig, you know, figure his own life out. So it's like, yeah, you know, it's not that point of it wasn't at that point of life where we could be that close. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you were. rated him a four out of ten in that. Hey, four is stop scratching that thing. You keep <laughs> stop scratching. Four to six. Yeah, four to four to six. Yeah, I mean, I was beating him up and stealing his candy <laughs> that he stole himself. <laughs> <laughs> it was a chain of stealing. <laughs> So but, it just felt like, you know, it wasn't that much of a change. You're just like, eh, he's gone. Don't really, like, miss him. Don't really think. I was like, I Did don't you think- visit him? No, he wasn't allowed to. Uh, Wait, why? You, it was on, you had to be an adult and it had to be family. Wait, oh. Adult family. Although, like, 18? Yeah. Okay. No, I remember, like, after Juvie, he was at this, like, uh, was there, like, a criminal boarding school? Yeah, criminal boarding school. Criminal boarding school. I remember, like, we were finally allowed to visit him at a certain point there. Yeah. And I haven't seen him for years. And before this, right, he was, like, vit, like, slim. I was skinny. He was skinny. No, vit, like, vit, like, pre-working out skinny. Like, yeah. I was yeah. a scrawny boy. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, I was, like... And then I see him again, and he was, like, large. Like, he had... He <laughs> developed Mike, Mike, the frame. Mike, Mike. He developed, like, a frame. Obese, wow. yes. Yeah, and then... <laughs> Definitely way tubbier. Like, yeah. he, honestly, I'd be even shocked looking at that picture now. Yeah, I'm, I'm realizing I look kind of fat there. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> you looking like me right yeah. there. Let's take, let's take that shit down tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you guys come back, there's like an X over my face. Wait, like, we, who need did a, that? we need to take a new one, by the I way. I agree, new yeah, ones. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. I, I was on so much medication that increased anxiety, increased uh, hunger. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's nonstop. Yeah, yeah, yeah stop that. scratching. Stop that. scratching that. You're just gonna affect it. It's gonna oh, get worse. he's gonna cry. <laughs> Wait, are you Dak? Am I? Like, you talked about? No, he's a citizen. I'm Dak. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. citizen. Yeah, I'm out here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, 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 he's, he's, he's allowed out here. <laughs> you're not allowed to give like one free pass to your brother. Like you can't like in, write a letter in, in like regard for he's your. Like, I vouch for this man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, a- he America. <laughs> we talk. If you wanted to go out, go out of the country, you you can. You have to write a letter. No, I have to exactly. I have to apply, and it's like a month, like multi month process that I have to pay five hundred dollars to apply, and it might mm-hmm. still get rejected. And the reasons that it will get accepted for is humanitarian, uh, which is like my my like family member dying somewhere and I need to or provide sick. proof or sick. And then two uh, is like religious. So like if I was going on like a missions trip, mm. three is school or work. So if I was studying abroad or if I was um, sent on a business trip mm. where, and they had to prove that I am the only person that could go to, to, oh, to be able I to see. make it. So technically if we were like, we're going to do a UTI thing in Mexico, mm. I would, they'd be like, he's one of the four. He has to go. He's one of the four. Uh, we, we could do without you. We'll, we'll carry. That's crazy. <laughs> we'll carry it. Yeah. We'll just take your brother. <laughs> he's there. Thanks guys. Let's, yeah. let's, let's pay. Thanks for let's being hassle. so cost efficient. With <laughs> the, the, the do it for you. Thank you. So, What's it like? You no. Know, what's it like having your older brother be super mega famous and cool and super really really cool? And did I mention he's cool? Shit, yeah. you're gonna have to ask Vit's sister when she's on. <laughs> <laughs> my sister, my sister, and I actually don't really talk as much as I would like. We're uh, we're pretty much strangers at this re- point. Really? Yeah. I thought you talked to her pretty frequently. You call your mom a lot. But I call my mom a lot. I'll talk to my sister maybe once a year. Uh, she's probably busy doing her own. Sh- I mean, she has her own, uh, like she has her whole own life. I had I have mine, and then, she just graduated, right? Yeah, I was saying so this like, is the age, though. Like, yeah, obviously. And I, I I got dinner with her when I went back, but it's like during during like during my troubled years, like we that that rift kind of started. Cause um, like she blamed me every time I got I went to jail and shit and my pops found out she, he would take it out on her so mm. in in her mind oh. almost exactly like what you said like she blamed me Damn. and then she she never truly like understood why I ran away and did she, everything she's how old right now she is twenty shit I don't even fucking know I'm gonna say, what, your age difference was like two years right year and, she's and a half 20, year and a half she's yeah. 23, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, yeah. 22 yeah. and a half maybe uh, in my mind she's just kind of stuck at like. I don't know, six, 16, 17. Have you tried hitting her up just like to start conversation and she just yeah, but it's like even even me as a person, like I don't even hit you guys up. Yeah, like it's I don't like I've always talked about how that's that's a weird part of me, but like uh, when there's sometimes where I'll really miss her and I'll like hit her up, but that's like three a.m. my time. By the time she wakes up and I wake up the next mm. day, I don't feel like that anymore. And then um, 
Yeah, it's just, I mean, I, I assume at some point maybe I'll work through this and we'll become close again, but. Well, it takes a lot of effort. And, yeah. and with their story, like quarantine, they live together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like So so it's like, I, I think that your situation is going to be tougher because I'm kind of like you. I don't really talk to my sisters. Yeah. Um, and I just don't. I'm just. Like, it's a, it's a bond I do miss greatly, though. Because growing up, like it's it's literally it was just me and her. Would like, she ever moved to LA, or she likes? Absolutely not. She yeah. likes it there. She, I don't know if she likes it, but like she has four four more years of school. She oh. has a complete she, like she has her own life what plan. What is she in school for? Four. She's more gonna years. become a doctor. Oh shit! So wow. she finished her first primary four. She's gonna take the MCAT or whatever, and then go back. Damn. Smart girl. Hella school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's like the exact opposite. Obviously, your home life was a bit different, but would you have wanted more siblings if it was like a better situation? And would you have wanted like an older sibling? Like, if you had like the perfect family s- scenario, would you have wanted more siblings? And like, honestly, I don't think so. Oh. I-, I think with two, it was it was like we were when we were younger, we were like best friends. We would always hang out with each other, and I would do everything I could, even as a kid, to, like, try to protect her. I mean, you guys uh, are close in age, too, so... You yeah, guys, yeah. yeah, yeah. So... One and a half years is super close in age, yeah. actually. I thought it was more than that. Yeah. When I miss my family, like, I'll, I'll text my brother, like, hey, what are you doing? He was like, what do you want? I'm like, oh. Wait, we should bring your brother I'm on. going... Huh, my brother? <laughs> yeah, they're close. They live around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if they would want... I, bring whoever you're closest to, see if they're down. They don't think I'm cool enough. <laughs> Just ask. What? Oh, maybe yeah. yeah. What about maybe they you? think we're cool enough? No, they don't. Oh. Wait, Damn. what about you, Brando? <laughs> Did you want uh, more siblings or? Hell no! I was the middle child. I got fucked. Wait, you're a middle child? Yeah. Wait, no I, you wonder have two we're so siblings? similar, Brando. Almost two years, we still know nothing about this man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you only had one older brother. What? No, my sister's four years older, and my brother is one year younger. Oh, oh. you have a sister, and yeah. the sister has a kid. Yeah. So you were on You're an uncle? uncle? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Absentee Imagine uncle. Brand- Brand- he's <laughs> like, I'm going to go get milk again. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys never have milk? And he's like, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Brando has a deadbeat uncle is the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> but Brando's good with other people's kids. Yeah. 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 No, I'm good with her when we talk and stuff, but obviously I'm not physically there, so I can't be a good uh, uncle. Wait, so Chicago back in yeah, Illinois? Yeah, yeah. Did, did, but you you don't really care about being closer to them? Uh, her having a child made us closer for sure. Oh, mm. why? Just like me FaceTiming with my niece, you know? Yeah. I would talk to did my sister. Did that spark any emotion in your heart that you hadn't felt before? <laughs> No, 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 no. Damn. Like holding your niece, like nothing. Honestly, I went to get pizza the other night and there were fucking kids. It was outdoor pizza. It was the Petromali spot. Oh, you got a pizza? Not worth it, but because I had to wait two hours even though I pre-ordered. Anyways. What? what? That sounds they, terrible. They had these kids. They were just kids on the ground picking up like dirt and just chucking <laughs> it like throughout the whole spot where people are eating and stuff. And the parents were just like, no, don't throw it like that. Throw it like this. What? They're like That's crazy. And I'm like, I hate children so much. I hate parents so much. Like, I, I wish I, so I wish I could get another vasectomy. <laughs> I, it made me so mad. Just to make sure. <laughs> Just cut the balls off at that point. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> That's the craziest thing. No, but I hate parents in that situation, not the kids. I mean, no, I hate the kids too, but it's way more the parents. We fault. just tried yeah. to spark like any kind of emotion out of him. He yeah. went the opposite yeah. direction. He's like, I want a double vasectomy. Yeah, it's like first man, can... first man to cut it twice. <laughs> Wasn't there? But like... yeah, my my relationship with my brother is way different than what you guys went through. Like uh-huh. we used to fist fight every day and like every day it was nonstop. Who's but winning? but like afterwards we would Who's play winning? basketball. So it's just like I'll beat the shit out of you and then we'll go. Or something, you know? <laughs> Wait, I can't even imagine you can't. caring enough to fight. Yeah, it was more so just like I'm the big brother, so I got to swing be, on you right now. Be a better human, <laughs> and I'm gonna do it with my fists. Nice. Did your parents, I know the exact feeling? Did your parents take it like when when you got in trouble? Did they take it out, or he got in trouble? Did they take it out on you? Yeah, it was like a joint thing, like uh, bar soap in the mouth, or like beat with the belt, or like yeah, I got the bar so I got all those. Wait, the bar? I thought that bar was a white soap. person thing. Wait, nah, I got bar? my parents were like soap? picking from every culture. <laughs> yeah, like like you get like if you curse, like Diverse. you have a dirty mouth, they clean your mouth out with a bar of soap. No, I really? literally hold a bar of soap in my mouth, a Irish spring. Our thing was uh, was a wooden spoon. My nonna would go; she would put it on top of the fridge. Oh yeah. 
Same. And she would go and just crack the shit out of us. And then one day I stole it. And then she got another spoon and beat the shit out of me. Oh, yeah. no. Nah, if we tried stealing the fucking oh utensils, yeah. she'd be like, go give it to me right now or I'm going <laughs> to yeah. beat you with something worse. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we did that once where we hid all the spoons. They were gone. And I needed to get my ass beat. So my mom took my hockey stick oh. and just beat the fuck out you of me. You made with it a worse stick. on yourself. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and then after that, I never hit the spoons again. Bro. I begged my parents to play the drums. Uh-huh. Have you ever held a drumstick? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Literally, oh. like like that. They would just go into my room and cut a selection of like beaten tools. Nah, I'm, bro, it's the wildest when they tell you to go get it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, that ass. Choose like, your own doom. No, like, there, was, there was one time my, my school called my pops and he called me, so I knew I was in trouble. So. I waited until he came home. As soon as I heard the garage door, I got the Asian broom and I like handed it to him. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I accept. Two, Hope, two yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, hoping, <laughs> hoping that my beating was less, but it wasn't. It was worse. Yeah. <laughs> no, I kind of get the logic though. It's like here. Like, yeah, as a kid, I'm just I'm like, what punished. can I do to make this even slightly better? Yeah. <laughs> I never got beat as a kid. Girls also don't get beat as much as boys no, would. No, my parents didn't beat any of us. Oh. oh. Yeah. But do you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Brando said that he used to be like talkative and outgoing. What? Really? <laughs> ah, that's going <laughs> Do I mean, I was I was definitely the class clown for a long time, and I was just like a rowdy kid. It, it, that shattered my brain. I was like, "There's no way." Do you know what happened? Like, what the turning point was? Don't tell me it was your girlfriend when it you were was, eighteen. It was actually when I moved to LA because I was like, I can't be this type of personality and like not know the lay of the land out here and not how know how this shit works. So I was like. I don't want to be that annoying person, you know. In so Chicago, in Chicago, I knew everybody and I was comfortable and shit, but I didn't want to do that. In oh, LA. So he went. He went mute. I went, <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally, he sacrificed. A total, took a pact. And oh shit! I was very different in Chicago. I I was throwing like the parties that you throw. I was throwing that every week. <laughs> I was about to say he's throwing up gang signs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and his dick was tiny in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Very different. <laughs> no facial hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like 5'8", small dick. Damn, we got a whole different version of Brandon. I can't imagine I can't him imagine ever it. being loud and like... Not loud, no, but... I wasn't, I wasn't ever loud, but yeah. I was definitely okay being like annoying kid in class. Not annoying, like, but yeah, the class talk. Hey. Because I was also... I, I had a 4.0. I was like, I don't need this school shit. I'm like, I can fuck around with the teachers and shit. I'm sorry that we never made you comfortable enough to show that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, I take blame. I apologize. <laughs> uh, you know how he feels because you guys are the same people. Yeah. I understand. Wait, what? we need to... I want to have... I want to have Brando's, uh, like, classmate... Come on and tell us Spill about the lore. We just yeah. do a vice, we do a vice uh, documentary about him. Yeah. <laughs> in class, we, we blur their names and their yeah. faces out. We just interview all his friends. Uh, you're not close with your siblings. No. Hmm. I love my brothers. Does it make you sad? Um. I don't know. I, I've I've thought about trying to to mend those relationships, and it's just being physically away from them makes it. Pretty yeah, it's difficult. very hard. What ruptured it? You think? Well, I just grew up at a very young age. Like I was making my own money at twelve, mm. and so I was like, m- my parents didn't really need to raise me in that sense. You know, like I didn't have to go to them for much guidance. I didn't drink. I didn't smoke. I didn't do any like bad shit. So I was just like, I'm just gonna raise myself essentially but my brother and sister were assholes so i was like i don't really i don't <laughs> uh, fuck with this family wait what were you doing at 12 to make money graphic design oh, really? i was making logos for businesses and merch for the high school when i was in middle school and shit like damn because yeah. i got a computer i got a hand-me-down computer when i was really young like 10 or 11 and i learned uh like corel draw and all these programs and then i just started making logos for my dad's friends companies Whoa. did your did your dad or parents realize like you were a savant yeah my dad said it pretty early on when i was a kid he's like you're way ahead of me already Whoa, Prodigy. which was cool because he has a crazy career like a crazy did you life. and your dad have a good relationship yeah we used to do work together how'd like, you turn to out to be a slut then <laughs> <laughs> that probably comes from him too you should, i have a book of his he used to paint naked women all the time. Oh, oh that's where he gets it from. Like airbrush these girls. And, and when I was in like second grade, my friends would be like, yo, you should go to Brando's web, his dad's website because there's porn on oh, there. This is yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like father likes. Uh, his dad's yeah. website is uh, your, your version of a 50 Cent's music video. 
Oh, really? That's like what sparked you being a demon? I'm sure that had something to do with it because he always had like these big titty girls around painting them. Do you and like shit. titties now? Now? Over ass? Or you ass no, over that'll never happen. Ass yeah. over titties? I'm like slowly getting swayed. Ass is far more essential to wait, the wait, wait, wait. What about you guys? I know yours is boobs over. Yeah, ass. but nowadays I see a, I see a nice ass. I'm like, damn. No, I'm and an ass man. Ass. What about you, Nick? Ass. Not to be crass. Me. Personal. Like, Don't say personality, or I'll beat you. He too. likes me. <laughs> <laughs> me? Okay. What uh, about you, Jeremy? <laughs> no, he didn't go. I was joking. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oopsies. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, ass. Ass. Okay. You. Proportion. I like it to be equal. Yeah, yeah. I don't need huge on either end. Well, it's I just didn't like, say I needed huge. <laughs> yeah, there has to be. That's no, no, no. the cop out answer. Yeah, yeah. The no, answer it's not. is it's if you had to be one or the other, like there's zero of one. I mean, that's everyone's not. picking proportionate. What the fuck? <laughs> Pick no, one. No, no. Hurry some up. people, some people like the f- the fucking. No, nobody, uh, nobody, nobody like, wants dude, giant titties. Why are you no afraid ass? to answer? What's up? Just answer the question. Because <laughs> it's tough for me. I think I have to say tits for now. For now. <laughs> tits. <laughs> but I also like appreciate. Like, <sighs> so sad I have no like, tits. <laughs> but I, no wonder that. he doesn't like me. I understand. All right. Next, Brando. Yeah, well, like as, or, as or tits? He said ass. Oh, you said ass? Yeah, okay. he went for sure. But let's, it's, let's get on with Esther, this. Esther, ass or tits? Man, I was going to say ass because that's one thing I kind of have. <laughs> Bounce it! <laughs> Bounce! It was so fucking funny. All right, on with the next. All right, let's one. have some decorum. Back to the questions. Yeah. How long were we? Have we been filming? We're at hour and a half. It's probably good. Is this good? But yeah. I, oh, I want to say yeah, the yeah. last thing. Knowing your entire lives and living together, what would you change about each other now? Like as you observe him, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe there's something. For example, maybe he could be more patient. And maybe you've seen that throughout his entire life. That is one thing. Or be on time. Well, my nickname is Mr. Patient. <laughs> no, I know. So I was just using that as an example. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, like something like that where you're like, I've noticed in his whole life there's like one thing that maybe he could benefit from. And you're the, you're the closest thing to him that has the most perspective across time. Or you're- Put this down because it's blocking your face from the camera. Honestly... I don't. I don't think I would change any of it because oh, so even perfect. if there are things that I feel like have uh, annoyed me, I feel like it's all contributed. Like he's probably one of the most like just do it people I know, and I feel like a lot of the habits he has that I don't like are a result of that. Just do all right, it. So just what are the habits it. you don't like? You fucking like pussy. Punctu- <laughs> <laughs> punctuality. Keep like, going. Um, Agreed. Uh, Raise your hand if you agree. He's always late. No, 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 I'm not. I'm hella punctual. What are you talking about? You made me wait 20 minutes in the car. He, he, told he wasn't me to, even here yet. He told me to come at 2 o'clock, right? 1.55, he's like, I'm going to take a 10-minute shower. I'm like... What? Yeah, I don't hate it because I'm always late too. <laughs> so anytime he tries to yell at me, I'm like, hey. 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 <laughs> they were just like Spider-Man hey. being like, hey. we're, we're both walking in 30 minutes like, oh. oh. I'm, I'm trying to say something, that. but it's just like, oh. Well, there was once, the first time I went to that that uh, that space bar, I, I was on the way. I pulled up. He texts me. He's like, hey, I'm late, but I know you're late too. <laughs> it was the one time I wasn't late. <laughs> I was like, I was going to apologize, but I was just like, but I bet you're not there. <laughs> he was there. Damn. What else? Uh, actually, no, if I were to change one thing, I think it'd be his perception of quality time. Oh, really? Oh, what is, what is, what is it? Um, I feel like now when we have actual time, a lot of the time we do have together where there isn't other things going on, he'll use that time to work and instead be like, oh, come out with me later instead and we'll Aww. hang out. Whereas I'm like, I would rather have stayed in that night and during the day when we were free, like like talked and just gotten food or something then. Mm. So your, your thought tendencies are now leaking about, into your personal relationships. It's not about my thought tendencies. Yeah, where did you get that from? Uh, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just such a busy man. I try to optimize no, everything. because he chooses going out. He could have stayed in and worked and not gone out. No, 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 no. He, it's not, it's not about yeah, working You always try to hour. villainize somebody. No, 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 no. Out of so, here. Nick, you you like the okay. Your 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 idea of quality time is basically just like you and your brother like 
Being or like together, we do like an activity stuff. together during the day. Yeah, yeah. Like we learn a skill. Yeah. You know. I see, I see. We learn oh. a skill. I imagine him like baking and he's and it's like super bad. He's putting flour on your nose. Like. <laughs> oh my god. You know? Like I live next to a pottery class. Let's go make some mugs. Are you are you more introverted? Yeah. I okay, think I think that's why, yeah. Because yeah. Wu Talk is more extroverted. So like he wants to like like his time like he wants to talk to other people, yeah, like yeah, just yeah. go out and like, I like yeah. being, I like being extremely social as my downtime. Yeah. So if I'm like, I need to block off all this time to work, mm -hmm. then when I have downtime, I'm like, Oh, perfect. Let's all go to this party. Yeah. And then I can use the six hours at night that I have yeah. to be free spending quality time with everyone I'm all at same, once i'm the same way with yeah, you. Like, i literally out. just i'm optimal yeah yeah all right, we don't all got time to make mugs and shit <laughs> <laughs> imagine we're talking about everybody to make a mug <laughs> yeah i'm just talking to everybody while we're yeah. making mugs and shit like oh yeah i mean uh, noted yeah no oh, not that i i dislike don't lie you don't the, like it tell him times we up. got one out uh -huh. but yeah oh, fuck i almost set my Mugs, I'll remember. <laughs> or like even with Oma, like I feel like it's very to your schedule. You try, like when we hang out and talk mm -hmm. and then um, if I'm busy, you'll be like, you have to do this. Like it's for family. I'm like, I've been free for like <laughs> seven days in a row. And then, uh -huh. you know, uh, now yeah. it's like I have to shift my schedule because yeah. this he is do, the He only, do be doing that. Yeah. Huh? What happened? Well, you know, when somebody's schedule is more valuable. Uh, see, that's his problem. I'm in the same boat I, as you, though. I, I think you I should agree, change though. that mindset as well, Nick. I think we should add that one. I'm in the same boat as you, though. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, to be honest, though, there, you can quantify whose schedule is more valuable and whose time is more valuable. It's who has the least amount of time, and but, that's whose schedule you should but schedule sometimes, But sometimes you do have to sacrifice or people yeah. feel that feeling. No, no, I agree. So, I mean, in, yeah. I agree, still. But, but I, I agree. I, I agree with you. I'm there is an side. order of importance in people's schedules. Yeah, but the guy who has the least time. I just I'm also, up that statement. I feel like I'm also very not demanding on mm -hmm. people's schedules. So you also don't see family much. Yeah. I mean, I'm out here. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like. Would you yeah. ever move to LA? Yeah. Um. I need money though. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like you could work at Amex in LA. Oh no, I, I, it's not that I don't have the money to able to live here right now, but I'm in office. I feel like, especially at like my level still, it's, um, I don't think it helped my career at all to not be in person. Mm. Mm. If yeah, I, you need to make like relationships. Yeah. I was like, and I think I'm finally getting the hang of, you know, uh, talking to people, corporate, <laughs> corporate He's laddering. Like, yeah. Hello, everybody. It's Nick. No, that's literally like I. F I feel like people felt uncomfortable around me before because <laughs> at work. Yeah, because I'd just be like, "Hi." <laughs> yeah, oh. You, you all, you have just kind of like awkward pauses. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like even in this interview, you'd just be like, "Hey, hey." <laughs> yeah, no, I do. <laughs> like that right there. He looks around and <laughs> I I'll definitely, notice it. I think I take like time in between words rather than filling it. Mm. Uh, true. Which is very true. rare. Like, very I, oh, different. actually, I noticed you don't say um or anything. Yeah. I mean, that's why he sounds so eloquent when he's. Yeah. I mean, he is eloquent, but even more so because he doesn't use filler words. I'm going to try not to do that. What about you? What, what change would you want for him? Uh, I think the only I think he grew up pretty, pretty good, to be honest, for our situation. But I'll, I'll, like work ethic, that's about it. Like he, he, he do be like having things he wants to do and it's just like, uh, oh, whatever. Mm -hmm. mm. I guess I'll just do it later. <laughs> <laughs> we talk as Mr. Nike. He's always like, just do it. Yeah. I'm Bro. like, if I want to do something, I'm like, let me start it right now so that I get myself far enough where I have to do it regardless of if I'm happy or not. <laughs> <laughs> Once this girl's big enough, I can't give up on it. So I'm going to yeah. just do it right now. This guy's Eeyore. <laughs> no, that's Eeyore. No, that's Eeyore. <laughs> it's true. Do you feel happiness though? Like, because you're... <laughs> Because you're you're also very even keeled, like even like actually with surfing you were no you were at that animated you're like that was sick. <laughs> <laughs> he was like I would do that again. I would do it again. Yeah, yeah no, I definitely feel happiness. I was like, um, like I feel jealousy. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, I know Brando said that was a very that's like something he doesn't feel. Yeah, he also so doesn't like, feel embarrassed. He doesn't he doesn't get the deep like he has he stays like that. Yeah. No, exactly. I was like, I definitely feel ups and downs very um, strongly. 
Although I feel like for me, it's a lot different in that it's like not that the feeling isn't there, but rather if it's too strong, I'll suppress it until I can reasonably address it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I heard you're still a fat ass. And you eat copious amounts of food. Oh, yeah, I can put down food. Do it, bro. It's so he could put it down. <laughs> yeah, it's so, but are you working out? Because you look in pretty good shape. Or are you wearing baggy clothes and I can't tell? I work out. Oh. I work out a good amount. Um, Like, I do cardio daily. I oh, think. daily? Yeah. Like what, running? Uh, Like, I do like 15 incline, three speed for like 30 minutes. Oh, Stairmaster. Yeah. You do... Like 30 minutes to an hour the usually. IG girl workout. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Also, growing up, he used to jump rope every day. Oh, yeah, I love jump roping. <laughs> All right, How, double but like, are you doing? Are you doing like footwork patterns or just the up and down two feet? Oh, uh, no, I'd like switch it up. Like, I, I think for me, it was more so speed. Like, being able, <laughs> like, um, if I could get like three in one jump. Oh, and, like, but double, like, double ups. Yeah, but you then that? keep that, like, yeah. But then, like, keep that going and start alternating because I feel like my mind works in patterns a lot. So Uh it's, like, it's easy to stay focused doing it. If I'm, like, switching that number up and following a certain pattern with that, it gets me actually engaged with the activity rather than it being just mindless Monotonous going upstairs. Yeah. Nah, I like the stairs, though. (laughs) Are you good with instruments? mm -mm. I just saw, I'll find the TikTok. There's a funny-ass video of a girl breaking a record of... Most skips uh-huh. in like a minute or something. Her fucking veins are probably <laughs> popping no. out her neck. How she's many? Like how a, many? She's like a tiny Russian girl, and it's funny because they're not trying to bounce; they're trying to stay as close to the floor as possible. She, she's like hunched, and it's just like everybody <laughs> in the room, and there's multiple people gone, and there's someone counting. Uh, how the fuck do you even count that? You're wait, just sitting there spamming. Exactly. A button, <laughs> spamming a also, like the your freaking steps. Yeah, the ropes is so thin mm-hmm. you could barely you like see, see it. it. You, you can barely see. You have to like. Really? It doesn't even look like she's holding a yeah, rope. Yeah, that's in what her I'm hands. saying. That's crazy. She's like Grinch walking. That motherfucker guessing. He's just spamming yeah. that shit. Like <laughs> that's like the you know the fruit cutters that look like it's moving slow, but when you actually put the fruit through, it's moving so fast that it looks like it's moving slow. Oh, I know what you're yeah. talking about. Huh? I don't know what they're when, when a blade spins when a certain thing rotates. Oh, at like a, a fan, and yeah. then you look like it looks like a oh. fan is going like this, but yeah. it's really going so fast. You're oh. like seeing the after image catch up. Yeah, I see. I see. I see. Something about it. We talk writing. Oh, what was the cutest memory when you were growing up that has to do with books? <laughs> books it has to do with books. <laughs> you reading stories? Oh, we'd uh, we take turn. This is something we'd both get in trouble for. Like I don't think we could. He could have ever. You know, we'd both constantly get in trouble for staying up at night, like with like flashlights under our blankets, like reading books. Yeah. And then, and giggling. yeah, I don't know. I thought that was a cute thing I picked up from him. Yeah, I would, I, I wouldn't sleep. I would read a lot. I thought he would write you stories. Oh, that's different. Oh. Yeah, so I used to tell him bedtime stories, but um, there weren't like stories that I was reading. I was like literally conjuring stories and just telling it to him. And he was loving that shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then we were also really addicted to RuneScape, right? So we loved like fantasy RPG games. So base, I realized later what Dungeons and Dragons was. And I was essentially I was like mentally that. playing Dungeons and Dragons and just telling him. And then it got a lot to like remember. So I would start writing it down what our inventory was yeah. and like the universe I was building. Like it would be like, oh, like this dragon is from like this area. And then I was like legit writing like basically like Game of Thrones like when I was like 10 years old. <laughs> the George R. Martin found it in the trash one day in their apartment. And he was like, wait a second. This, this is, is pretty dead. good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was like I was losing because I would want to like resume the story the next night and I would just not remember. So then I would start writing down like the details of the lore so that I could you continue. You never got going. into Dungeons and Dragons? No, I didn't learn about that until I was like a grown man. And then I was like, that shit's lame as hell. Yeah. <laughs> You're quick on your, you're quick to, you know. I was always very creative. All right, yeah. come up with a story. <laughs> Once upon a time, Jeremy walked down the street and then he died because he sucked. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> right? Thank you. Yeah. That was the vibe of like, oh, you like books? Name a hundred books. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was laughing. I was thinking about your grandpa making you read 40 books a week. I was like, who's your grandpa, Ty Lopez? <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I mean, we was I was reading so much, I would skip doing homework, I wouldn't sleep, like, it works. Honestly, like, you are an intelligent guy, and my sister's also hyper-intelligent, and she was a red. Yeah. That's the, it's like, young age is red That's one thing I learned. And then I see kids where I know they didn't read as, like, yeah. when I meet my friends that did not read at all as kids, I'm like, you're a little bit, something's missing Stop up there. Stop staring at me, dude. 
I read. <laughs> I read. Stop staring at me. But, and you have decent vocabulary. Nice. It's, it's, that's about it. That's, <laughs> the, that's the big one is the way they speak is far like yeah, he's pretty eloquent. More advanced. Yeah. Like yeah. When he came on the podcast, the way he would tell stories no, no, and the I way agree. he just kind of like digested life, I was like, oh. Yep. I mean, the fact that he even remembers quotes because I can't. I, love I feel like yeah. you're on a lot of medicine right That's now. That's true. But you know, if you don't want to be like me, read books. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to think there's 12 days in a month, read books. Man, All right. that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> All the comments took it so seriously. There's All right, well, days. is there anything else you guys would like to share as siblings? Mm. If you can't fight, learn to run fast. <laughs> <laughs> Because if you can, why would you argue with someone you can outrun? You can just exit at any point you desire. I would that's give why, up. That's <laughs> why he one. did cardio <laughs> every day. I was jump roping crazy. I, I'm weightlifting and he's doing cardio. <laughs> I'm like, I can exit the conversation at any point I'd like. That's smart. That's funny. That's good advice. All right. Well, hey, don't forget, we're throwing a fat, old, girthy party. <laughs> so I'll be ready. Prepare the livers. Make sure you text in to be if, like, we'll have all the information by the time this airs, but also text in. Yeah, um, you'll get first then, access. But, yeah, but the like first access to all the information and also you first think access the, to early the, pre-sale the, tickets. You think the tickets won't be available by November 10th? They will, should be. All right, so go down there and get the tickets right now. This is going to be the craziest rager we've ever thrown. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's going to be fun. Yep. Vit is kissing everybody. And if you, hey, Yay. we always forget to say this at the beginning of the episode. Please like, comment, subscribe. That helps way more than you know. Hey, wait, wait. Uh, Mr. Editor Man, can we uh, doctor this into the beginning of the episode? We always say this and they always forget. Also, no, no. fourth wall. Hey, yeah, one of y'all is fucking watching this. I know you are. So <laughs> I'm talking to you, Dakota or Mario or whoever it is. <laughs> we will, he will swing on you. No, I won't. Love you. But please put like literally cut out all of that of me talking to you and put this in to the Beginning. All right, so say it again like it's the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So get this video to 2,000 likes. Wait, what the fuck? We need to offer them something. Uh, uh, 3,000 likes. 3,000 likes for what? And we'll give away a hat. Okay. All right. Get this video to 3,000 likes, and during our merch drop, we're going to give away three hats to random people who comment. So one, make sure you leave a comment. And they have to be subscribed. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, fuck, but then how do we even know who they are from the comment? They got to leave their ha- IG handle. Nah, because most times I can message them still. On YouTube? Yeah, or I could say, or, or we pop the winner email us and DM us proof that it's your account. We've done okay. that before. All right, let's do that. Rewind, doing it again. Get this video. Uh, also, put this in near the merch drop. <laughs> Hold on, man, I'm talking to my boy. Chill out. Put this in near the merch drop area of the video, Dakota. <laughs> it's funny if they just left this in. This is I awful. would kill you. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Sorry to leave this in. Get this video to 3,000 likes, and we're going to do giveaways of our merch. We'll pick three commenters on this video. We'll announce them, and you can email us or DM us on Instagram, and we'll give you this cuties hat for free. You have to leave a like, be subscribed, and leave a comment. Yes. yes three things. You got to hit us with the trifecta. Triple, triple, triple DP. Yes, sir. And also, supporting the pro- the best way to support the show is buying the products, and yeah. All right. Well, now let's go. Now, Dakota, we're back to normal time frame. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, don't In. forget to send Brando love because he's going bye bye. Isn't he on the next episode? We're filming another one. Yeah, well, oh, he's going to be Don't reveal be the secret. He's going to be yeah. gone soon. He'll be gone soon. And if you love him, make sure you support his art. Best ways by sharing it on at Brando. And yep. harass him for his handle if your name is Brandon. He loves that shit. But, anyways, goodbye, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, drink Nectar Nectar Hard Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. 
But if you don't, we love you. Oh, 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 oh